Uh, DRT, everybody, it's nine. Well, it's seven for me. It's nine for debris, or whatever time it is for debris. It is time for DRRT, Debris Regional Reassembly Tournament. That's right. Let's go. In this tournament, we have 34 submissions. And uh, what are the differences between last tournament? Last tournament, we had 3v3 alliances that are the max P. This time, we have 4v4 alliances at 1,500 P. And, you know, that's a big that's a big difference. So the ships here are going to be, well, a lot smaller. And there's more, more ability for uh, support, I think, in, in this tournament. So, so yeah. Yeah, a lot, more, a lot more ability for little distractors and helpers and other things like that. It's nice. Yeah, yeah. A little more forgiving if one ship is a support unit. You don't lose so much DPS as you used to in the old ones. In the old ones, in the previous ones. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, exactly, right? Um, so, well, you know, uh, now I guess we better get this tournament started. Oh, oh, oh Dishonor! 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 <laughs> Huge oh. damage. Mm. Mm. Oh. Ah, Darkstar no. has fallen! Impressive, impressive teamwork. I, oh, oh no, I know what Dishonor is doing. Yes, Dishonor. Oh, no. good. <laughs> good job, Dishonor. Well done. Oh, <laughs> he's so quick, so fast. Amazing, I love it. Look at it would appear that Splinter has fallen to the missile meta. Civil so strategy for all the tanks while the Sonder looks dumb and then inevitably destroys the enemy. <laughs> Brusher's gonna have boy, to rely on the, uh, the arena. <laughs> oh, oh, Dark Star oh, and he's fighting. <laughs> folks let's queue up the very first qualification match we are back let's see what we have in store today so today we have match number one hindrance stupid one medic farm and generic kiter against maliador nova jimbo and hardship let's queue that up real quick debris would you kindly reopen your uh stream to me oh i apologize i'll get that check. going right now thank Boop. you i'm sorry i completely forgot about it you're all good. It's, I, uh, I guess I did too. So, um, Let's yeah. Go. Red lines and blue lines. We're ready for the first match? Ready. We're paused. All right. So let's go into this screen here. All right. So on the red lines, let's take a look at the ships we have so far. Um, also, laps. Let's alternate on the intro. So I'll just do one ship and then you'll do the next. How about that? Does that sound good? Uh, sure. All okay. right, just to keep it shorter, you know? <laughs> yeah, sure. All right. All right. Our first ship on the Red Alliance is called Hindrance by Bluefish1818. This is a massive crystal trapper. It's got only two weapons, this weapon and that one. It, it's it's oh pretty large. Life. It's pretty slow. And, you know, it's a big crystal trapper. So that will be, you know, it. They they've been in turns before. And so let's just let's see what happens there. And I... next. Yes. What is this? Oh, this... Who made this? What this is... ship <laughs> is... I, I, I need to pull up my, my sheet or something. I, I, I can't see the, the text on the screen. That is called Medic Farm by Camo5. Ah, Medic Farm. Very interesting. So, a farmer submission using seeds as armor, basically, on those all the uh, environmental ports. Camo, I don't understand what he's done for this. <laughs> I don't understand what his strategy is. He has heal beams. He's going to be a psychopath. He's growing plants. He's growing plants for war. This is Camo 5. He's going to break the game. I'm not surprised. <laughs> Let's go, Camo. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And next, who do we have? We've got Generic Kiter by Jammy. All right. This is a Terran ship. 
mean, it's got only missiles, I believe. It's got an omnidirectional thrust arrangement, and it's got some armor on the outside. It is, in fact, a relatively generic kiter, I would say. And um, oh, is also Jamie's first submission to DRT. So, um, ah, there you go. Yeah, this will be this will be well, you know, it's a missile kiter, and they 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 everyone knows what that looks like. So, <laughs> so yeah. <laughs> All right, and finally, we have stupid O one. Great. Who's stupid O one by? Uh, Jamie as well, actually. Ah, another Jamie submission. Is this just Sentinel? No, oh, no, no. This, this is isn't, what am I talking about? Sorry, I'm an idiot. <laughs> what? What is its weapon complement? Oh, is it just a thruster ball? Oh, it, How does it, it work? It does have two weapons. They're a little hard to see, sadly. They're kind of embedded in that in those two arms. Um, ah, he has armaments. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Excellent. Okay. Relatively exposed. Got a nice big shield generator, power generator, thruster. It seems reasonably maneuverable. I don't know if it has a lot of forward thrust. It doesn't look very forward thrusty. It is at 156.2 um, acceleration. It is at the minimum. It is at <laughs> precisely. At the yeah. So it's a, it's it's kind of a siege tank roll in its own little way. It's pretty slow. Good maneuverability. Side side strafe can turn. Okay. Um, okay. Should work well. Yeah. All right. That's the red oh, alliance. And stupid O1. Now on to the blue alliance. Who do we have? Our first ship on the blue alliance is called uh, Jimbo, by. Uh, Guns for Guns. Guns for Guns. I believe this is his first time submitting to a tournament. Uh, thanks for choosing DRT. Um, this is a farmer <laughs> ship. It's got a bunch of Sparrow missiles you can see on it. Those are the small ones, right? It's got some MM1s, um, some lo those long-range farmer cannons. It's got some lasers, and uh, yeah, I think it's it's kind of pretty. I like I like how those like, unobtainium struts are over there. Wow. And stuff. It's, it's very nice. Yeah, it's it's pretty cool, um, and. Well, let's see how it does in the arena. And who do we have next? We have ah, I wonder. I wonder who made this unstoppable Tinkerel siege beast of complete and total doom. I wonder. <laughs> was it Labs? Was Labs the one who made the Maliador? Hmm. The Maliador with the reasonably powerful, uh, kind of a nice siege gun, reasonably mid me medium range, good amount of damage, high rate of fire, reasonably survivable. Uh, not exactly the fastest thing in the world, but it makes use of a kind of an interesting outer strat to kind of reduce AoE damage on its very fragile Tinkerel hull. Should do okay. Should do okay. We hope. We hope. Everyone remembers Jassandra from the last tournament, so, you know, its smaller version is here. <laughs> Who do we have next? <laughs> We've got um, Heartship by Sly Fox. All right, this is a red ship. Um, it has a bunch of drones. It's got attack drones and it's got healing drones. Right, the attack drones. If you remember, if anyone here remembers, um, I don't remember what it was called. Oh, DDoS anti kiter from DRRT three. That ship was amazing. It sent out huge swarms of those things, and they did a lot of damage because of reds. It, it, they could put so many much, so many of them on the ship because of the reds' massive points in this tournament. And so it's absolutely, it's a wonderful, it's a wonderful thing. And it's got some healing drones, and so you know, that might be interesting. This thing too. is the reason. This is this thing is the reason you have to point put point defense on your ships, and remember to do it. <laughs> exactly, exactly. <laughs> and finally, who do we have? This is called Nova by uh, Imperiax. Very interesting. A lot of containers. What on earth is that weapon complement? <laughs> it's is got what flat cannons, hyper stacked flat cannons, and it's got hyper stacked um uh, blast, blast pulsers. Pulse. Oh, yes, this is a starship to end all starships. This is the personification of anti- of anti-projectile, of misilic interdiction. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yes. No, that's very, that's very good. I look forward to seeing this ship absolutely obliterate all incoming projectiles. And Flak is actually a very good choice in this kind of setup. Flak is actually very powerful when you actually get to get in close and use it on things that don't necessarily have a lot of uh, high health armor. So I'm, I'm looking forward to this. I'm looking forward to Nova. Let's see Nova do its job. I am as well. Let's get this tournament off the ground. All right, starting things off, the um, camo is charging into a close range. The Maliador Ooh. fires, takes it out, while Jimbo <laughs> oh, moves camo. into range of the ship. Oh, Imperiax is rushing the trapper. <laughs> Hmm. Trapper being itself. Interesting. 
That's a. I think. That's that's a lot of <laughs> pulsing, my man. That's a lot of pulsing. I think actually that uh, the trapper has met its match. This is the perfect adversary. Oh, it it actually is. It's like eroding this is everything. Genuinely the perfect adversary. <laughs> Away from it. Uh, Jammy is successfully oh, kiting no. Jimbo, who is attempting to point defend. It looks like most of the missiles are not getting through, but it does have less shields and stuff. Hardship's drones are coming in. Ooh, Meliodor firing. <laughs> Check its um, it preview in the, in the upper upper right. Ooh, yeah. Ooh it, it got hit by it got hit by Jimmy's other ship. Oh, Jimmy! Who is do, currently doing oh, a job kiting um, Imperiax. It's a good little kiter ship, Jim. It is. Oh, but its point defense is kind of lacking. Oh, Jim. Oh. The drones Jim, from Sly down. Fox taking it out. Oh, stupid one is down. Ooh, and there and goes wait, Jimmy. Was, was that a was that a win on destruction? That was a win on destruction. And Beautiful. the blue lines fully survived. Poor old red team. That was rough. Okay. So let me quickly set out points. Because I've never had to do this before for a DRT. So I'm a complete noob. <laughs> um, You're all good. We want to underline. We want to strike through things. We want to boldify blue team. Uh, we want to give it. We want to boldify. Uh, and we want to italicize. Can I just do control I? Yes. <gasps> ah, good job. <laughs> I'm such an idiot. What am I doing? Okay, great. All <laughs> set. We can go. Tangent. Did this work uh, blue now? team. It does work. Blue team lost that one. Okay, I've got, I've got, I've got replays working again. By the way. Okay. Anyway. Ooh, exciting. Wonderful. You said the blue team won. Blue team won completely and perfectly. All right. So um, also make you underline the thing and now change the change the value up in the change me slot. Okay, dokey. And change then me my overlay will update it to five. There we go. Hmm. All right, match number two. Let's see who we have in match number two. Big tree, ultra heels, fox lady three, minotaur. And uh, Awaken Octagon, Kazaplekth, Motorwell, and Thunderous Applause. All right. Let's see how this goes. Small qual overlay. Let's start this match. Let's go for it. Get laps patch patched up for the next battle. <laughs> yes, sir, Imperiax. High five. Stupid one is no PD. Oh, carry us, Imperiax. Cry, Sly Fox. Oh. <laughs> Okay. All right. Who do we have for Who's our this? first ship? Uh, this ship right here is called Big Tree. Big Tree, yeah. By Cat. This is a farmer ship um, with an interesting armor arrangement. It's got mostly heavy turrets, it looks like. It's got a single shield and a bunch of point defense lasers, which farmer are known for. So this, right, farmer have a lot of points this tournament, and those are some very dangerous cannons, especially for ships in this price range. And so I think this ship is probably going to get into close range and try to dish out serious brawling power. So yeah, this mm. is Big Tree by Cat. And next we have um, Ultra Heels by Camo5. Ultra Heels. Okay, so Camo has the same thing, but he's just gone slightly more insane. And he's decided to go with red because heel drones. So I don't really know if I need to say much more than big heel. <laughs> <laughs> this is, this is, yes, Camo. I, you know, Camo, for all the years of you breaking reassembly, stacking, and demonstrably obliterating all of your opponents, I approve this moment in your character arc where you are now the, just the heel master. <laughs> I approve <laughs> this. I approve this greatly. Next. All right. Next. Fox Lily D3. Fox Lily D3. This is a ship by infamous Yen Yu. A... A sentinel ship, um, kind of in the form of Munin, the one of the most dangerous series of ships, turns out, in the past tournaments. This ship, um, with a reduced price, right, has only gauss beams instead of an obliterator and no nuclear option, but it's still got some splash, and, you know, those gauss beams pack a punch. It's very pretty, too. It's got a really nice outside contour. And so, yeah, this is Fox Lily D3 by Infamous Yen Yu. And finally... 
We got Minotaur. Minotaur. Ooh. And who's Minotaur by? Uh, by Delrith Flint. I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing that name Ooh. wrong. It's all right. It's a funky name. Delrith Flint. Delrith Flint? Delrith Flint. Look at that. Adapters, Terran, big plasma in the center, lots of hyper stacking, auto guns, missiles. This is just this is just a nice Terran ship. Like it's got it's got a nice form. I'll tell you what, adapters are great. I love adapters. That's just mm, mwah, fantastico. Fantastico. Look at that. <laughs> oh yes. I like the design. It's just nicely designed. It's very well stacked. Got a nice weapon complement. No complaints. Is that a blast pulse? Or is that a no no no, that's a that's like a that's a storage in the middle there. He's just mm. got a storage octagon. He's just he's just flexing. He's just flexing now. Just storing up death. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. That's that the red alliance. Red alliance. And now we have the blue alliance. Who do we have in the blue alliance? We got awakened octagon by skill. Awakened octagon. This is a Terran ship with a sizable amount of armor. It's got mostly forward and backwards thrust. It features a lot of drones, it looks like, and it's got some serious point defense on the outside. It's got a bunch of defense cannons and blast pulsers and lasers. So this is probably going to propel like a lot of the missiles in the tournament while still dishing out a lot of drone fire. Ooh. So yeah, drones. that is Awakened Octagon by Skill. And next, who do we have? Nice. We got this ship, Kaza uh, Kazapleth. Or Kazaplik. I abbreviated Kaz the name a little, but Kazaplik. 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 Don't worry, I got this name down. <laughs> Very nicely designed. Who's this made by? Uh, infamous Yenyu. Ah, it is a Yenyu design. I thought so. <laughs> I, had, I, had, I had a strong feeling it was a Yenyu design. Look at that. Rail guns. We've got a few black. No, those aren't. Those are. Um, uh, yeah, yeah. Mm, storage. PD guns and nice little stripe formation. Got a couple big generators. Nice shield generator. Some thrusters. Super stacked. Okay, Ian. Yeah. All right, all right. It's gonna be an interesting ship. It's gonna be a bit of a. It's gonna be a bit of a pounder. Rail guns don't have a lot of DPS, but at least they have range, so they get to stay alive much longer. So yeah, this should be quite a nice kind of mid-range engagement ship, if it doesn't immediately just jab right into the enemy got a nice amount of tell you what got a lot of health on this thing i like it it's a good nice tough ship yeah all right, next all right next motor we well. have motor well by mars one this is a farmer ship um most notably it's got a bunch of bolsheviks um super stacked in the front a bunch of avengers <laughs> as well and a I bunch of it. other high damage deadly farmer weapons up there and you know it's it's pretty dangerous farmers got a lot of points this tournament and so they can do some serious damage especially at this close range this ship fights at a close range and you know it's probably pretty quick um most notably though it does not have a shield so it used mm. the shield the cost usually from a shield which other ships seems to have um they invested it in weapons and stuff so it's probably going to do more damage but won't have um additional splash protection that some other ships it's will have probably gonna pop it's, it's also gonna small. pop some things, though. It's it's gonna <laughs> pop some things. Yes. Oh yes, definitely. <laughs> All right, that's Motor Well by Mars One, and now we go on to my ship. That's thunderous oh. applause. I wonder who made this ship. I wonder who made this vessel of strange hmm. and John-like construction. This very weirdly spaced block of armor and disheveled constructorial architecturality. <laughs> I, uh, some deranged madman made this in a, a single night and thought, yes, this is excellent. Yeah. To all others, it was a cre creation of pure horror and nightmarish ability. <laughs> uh, it's got plenty of torpedoes, lots of point defense can cannons, uh, good maneuverability, spaced armor, so it's quite tough. Um, yeah, pretty, pretty robust design. What can I say? Note the AI trigger in the front, so it keeps a closer range than what torpedoes would normally cause a ship to fight at. Right, and, yes, uh, yes, yes. And, uh, yeah, um, I, I hope it does well. And um, what is that? Um, what is that stack in the middle with the torpedoes? Is that just the hull for the stack? Oh, that is that is angle. Like? Yeah, that, that's angles. Um, torpedo angling. It very very slightly uh, angles yes. the torpedoes. Um, ah, yes, very good, very good. And yeah. it should spread out a little, but also keep it like. Kind of tight, so it can do some serious damage while still getting things 
So yeah, that is that is uh, Thunderous Applause Blue by team. Debris. That's me. All right, qualification <laughs> match number two. By Debris. That's me. <laughs> Let's go. Boom. All right, camo rushing into closer range. A motor well is right there with it. Um, thunderous applause. I'm um, approaching the ship. Ooh, firing a great burst of torpedoes that it missed. While Camo Five is still distracting those two members of the down. alliance. And Go down here, down. ooh, I missed something. But there that was go. Minotaur. I'm um, getting too close to Yenyu, but Cat yeah. is right there with him, um, taking out Yenyu before that could happen. Munin is approaching the target. Ooh, did they take him out? They did. They took out Camo Five. We yeah. got two ships versus three ships right now. Oh, Camo. Ooh, 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 I'm... <laughs> Thunderous Applause is getting smashed. Debris dying. <laughs> Debris is being <laughs> shot at by a big tree. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, oh well no. isn't is is reversing towards the enemy. That That isn't good. Oh, no. Oh, but it got it. It got it. Totally took him out. That's good. Ooh, did you see that? Those torpedoes missed a little. Miss Yen Yu there. Yeah. Um, Thunderous Applause is on kind of its final legs, while Skill is right here, churning out drones, keeping the enemy on the toes. is... Octagon is just an oppressive thing. Which which ship is that? Is that is that Minotaur left? Um, that is uh oh sorry um that was uh sorry yes yeah, it's, it's Fox Lily D three by um by Infamous Yenyu. I, I see I see. All right. Hang on. Let's underline. And bah, bah. these are really easy. We've had nothing but um. Oh no, wait. Blue team. Who lost? Who died? We lost. Uh, Kaza, uh, Kaza, Kaza, Kazaplex. Ka Kazaplex. Kazaplex. Okay, thank you. We lost Kazaplex. There we go. All right. Now, here we go. We have a bunch of, a, a few replays from this tournament. Take a, take a look at those. Only got a couple. <laughs> but right on the Alliance, it looked like, uh, yeah, yeah. Motorwell and Thunderous Applause um, seem to stay together um, for a lot, a lot of the match, um, and they kind of distracted the enemy while, while still dealing out serious damage, both of them. Thunderous Applause never really got a torpedo shot, and Skill was always there firing rockets at everything. Yenyu was a good distraction for three other members of the alliances, and because of that advantage there, it really couldn't um, make a difference in that situation, sadly. But yeah, the Blue Alliance takes that match by destroying everyone on the Alliance, and um, yep. uh, you, you changed the, the value as well? Yep. Ah, that's right, you did. Okay, sweet. All right. I know what I'm doing. <laughs> Who do we have next? <laughs> uh, next, we have Stabbing Time, the Thonyadar, Heron, Claw Monster, Crossfire, Go Fish, Non-Meta Pasteball, and U-U-U-U-U-U-U-U-U-U-U-U-U-U-U-U-U-U-U-U-U-U-U-U-U-U-U-U-U-U-U-U-U-U-U-U-U-U-U-U-U-U-U-U-U-U-U-U-U-U-
<laughs> crystals do a lot of damage. Any man of missiles, man. Any man of missiles. Indeed. And this was the Indeed. claw monster. Yep. By Mons. By Mons. Okay, next who we have. Um, we've got stabbing what time. Stabbing time. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> okay, I like this ship. So this is a massive sword. Does it have? It doesn't have melee blocks, does it? No. It doesn't have melee blocks. Melee, do melee blocks work in TRT? Oh, know. they they don't. They don't. Oh. Everybody boo. Everybody be <laughs> sad. That's uh, we can't know. Um. So, uh, annihilators. Just a bunch of wait. Are those annihilators or obliterators? It's one of the two. Uh, oh, they're case. annihilators. They're 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 big boomy boom booms. <laughs> <laughs> thing has got a lot of armor. This thing is tough. It's tough. It's very fast. Some tyranny at the front. Probably going to get shot off instantly. Huh. A lot of shooting, but not necessarily that much survivability. It is a jabber. I'm I'm I have no idea what this is going to do. I am excited to see it work. <laughs> Big, big sword. And that's stabbing time by skill. Who do we have next? We've got Heron by Infamous. No, not, that's not the right person. Infamous and you, I always think of you <laughs> making the red ships, but no, this wasn't made by you. This was made by Delverthyant. This is a um a red ship called Heron. Featuring, as all red ships do, good old tempests and a bunch of point defense lasers. It's got some lasers on the outside there, etc. And some drones. Very right. Brilliant. There. Very, very pretty ship. Very it, pretty ship. Indeed, yeah. It's got... It's very nice looking. Uh, Dalworth Iron is known for... I don't know, he makes some very, very nice ships on the reassembly Discord. And, you know, it's nice to see that in DRT, I'll say that. So, um, <laughs> yeah, as all red ships, a lot of points and a lot of damage per second. So, that will be, you know, it'll be dangerous in close range, but also very fragile, as reds are. So, yeah, that is, of course, Heron. By infamous Yenyu. Who have we got next? <laughs> oh, okie dokie. We got, we got uh, this one. Oh, non meta paste ball. By, wait, who was it by? It's by two, okay. By Duke it's Slayer. Technically, by two people. <laughs> it's. <laughs> it's. Wait, okay. <laughs> Debris, bring me up to speed. I can't remember this one. I can't remember this story. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, Duke Slayer has had a thing, right? That's why he's not here on stream with us. Um, and he also couldn't make any submissions. So this is a submission that he he he, he gave his submissions to Flypaste. So this is a ship that Flypaste took from an old NMSS tournament that made it meta meatballs. It totally destroyed everyone <laughs> that 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 tournament. Totally destroyed everyone. But this is no longer a spinner. And uh, yeah. <laughs> it's very yeah. funny. So this is so this is a crystal missile ship, right? Very simple. Not much to say about it, but it is a spinner, but also not. It's somehow vaguely legitimate. <laughs> it's great. It's great. Very tough spaced armor crystal. It's just going to be tough and be annoying. It's it is what it is. It's great. All right. Yeah, that is the non-meta paste ball by Duke Slayer also, slash Flypaste. Infamous Yenyu is is yelling at you that oh. uh, <laughs> he did not make that raid and you did it twice. That's and he's right. very amused by it. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that, Delrithine and Yenyu. This is yeah. This is not Yenyu's ship. I. Sorry. <laughs> All right. Well, who do we have next? Uh, we got... okay. Next up, we have. Um... Zero 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 um, cool. All right, this is a ship by is... uh, Joyous eighteen, a Tinkerel ship. It's got a single, relatively short ranged gun, but it's got a lot of damage output and a lot of burst to it. So this is gonna go into a little closer range than other Tinkerel, I guess we've seen so far. But and it's gonna do some dish out some some serious damage, um, because this Tinkerel has a high fire rate, as you can tell by all of those velocity amplifiers right there. So, of yeah. course this is a joyous ship. Of course this is a joyous ship. How did I not suspect that with this name this was a joyous ship? Why did that not immediately strike me upon my forehead that this absolute psychopathic gun on a very weird ship called Micron, or if, if that's whatever the number adds up to, adds up to, would be, well done, joyous, for nuking my mind. Amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Who okay, we next? What is this? This is called Crossfire by Mons Pubis. This is a 
Farmer ship. Oh, onesie boy. Hey, this is mine, kid. Lay off. <laughs> That's right. I'm, uh, this is mine. It's yours. <laughs> crying. Go. <laughs> uh, it's okay. I don't even know. I don't. I. I don't know which ships these are. You. You. You know. It's completely fine. <laughs> yeah. Look, I'm a fool. <laughs> don't worry. <laughs> so Mons. I don't even know what Mons is made, but it's 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 interesting. Are those just missiles? They are just missiles. Mons just has a missile doom ship. He has a mon mis missile monster doom runner speedball insane thing. Got a nice little shield right smack dab in the middle. Got a little, got a bunch of little, uh, little station defense lasers. Very good. Uh, lots of those big, big thrusters. I can't remember if they're. I can't remember which ones are more efficient in what circumstance, or if I'm just very outdated, outdated on my reassembly balance. But anyway, maneuverable thruster, missile, ball farmer, laser, pew pew pew, shield shield. Wow wow wow. Great. Mons mons. <laughs> Another pew, awesome pew, pew, pew. quote there. <laughs> <laughs> And as we move on to our <laughs> final ship on the Blue Alliance, this is called Go Fish, Go Fish. by Sly Fox, right? No, no, Blue yep. Fish 1818. Oh my goodness, I, I messed that up oh. when I first talked to you about it. Okay, uh, this is Blue Fish, no. right? We're both fools. Crap. We're both fools. Yep. Yep. Am I, am I just wrong? Am I wrong? Uh, wait. I'm, wait, I'm go check wait, is Go list. Fish? This I'm is busy Go trying Fish. to. Go Fish by Sly Fox. It is Sly, Sly Fox. Fox. Oh, okay, I'm sorry, Sly Fox and Bluefish. I'm I'm having a bad day. It looks like, so <laughs> this is right a a Terran kiter with a bunch and a bunch of drone launchers. Those Ooh. it's got a bunch of drones and it's got a huge amount of backwards thrust. So this guy's gonna stay at the back and just slam drones at everyone. And you know, in this tournament, that's gonna do a lot of damage because of the, the yeah, low man. cost and therefore low health of these ships. So yeah, this is um. Yeah, go fish by Sly Fox. Now I'm we impressed can... he managed to squeeze a shield generator into there. It's pretty, it's yeah, pretty it's a, great. It's a nice stacking tech there, I'll say that. How the hell did he do that? <laughs> I don't understand. I'm too much of a stack noob to know how the people do this sort of shenanigans. <laughs> oh, man. Well, <laughs> you guys have way too much time in your hands. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Sly Fox instantly moving to the back of the arena. And the non-meta pace oh. ball, ooh, taking out Dalrithian pretty quickly. Oh. Yeah, Adele, that, that poor old red ship. Uh, yeah, and exactly what I blade. thought would happen to Swordy happened to Swordy. Didn't have much health on that side there. And now we've Wind got a wind. crystal battle. Yeah, I do have a crystal battle. In the world of crystal battles, he who has more HP wins. That's pretty much how that goes. Indeed, and especially the more HP in front of the gun. Well... Oh, yes. oh no, oh no, it got missiled. Oh man, <laughs> oh, it got missiled! <laughs> oh, Munzy boy. <laughs> oh, Munzee boy! <laughs> the... Now it's time oh, for okay, well, the thorns. Well, can how... here's the question: How long can Thonyadar survive, despite not at all being saying that should survive in this circumstance? Go, Thonyadar! Go, go, go Thonyadar! <laughs> this was what you were made for. <laughs> <laughs> Stave off the missiles, yes, oh, Thonyadar. No. <laughs> oh, Thonyadar. Oh, and Thonyadar. that's match number three. My my pain is immeasurable. My days ruined. <laughs> Red team got wiped out, unfortunately. Uh, da -da -da. Da -da -da. And blue team had no losses. Amazing. Wow. Red 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 Alliance has not won a single game so far. Tragic. Yeah. Hmm. Well, maybe that will change soon. We've got some some ships in the next match. Yeah. I think these are all still new ships. Um, who do we have? We got Close and Personal. Well, uh, we have, yeah, we have Close and Personal. Four, Fortean Battleship. I love bees, democracy. I love bees. I love democracy. I love the Republic. Yes, Obi-Wan can <laughs> This is a, this is a Star Wars reference. I'm sorry. <laughs> Another Anakin, quote. Anakin, my allegiance to the Red Lions, to the Republic. <laughs> no, no. Oh man. <laughs> combat combat freighter. Um uh, combat freighter. Uh Welp IG it's ready. Uh, Welp, I guess it's ready. Hunter Seeker and Hammer of Gelt. Alright. I think we're ready oh, to start qualification it. match number four. <laughs> so let's get this going. These are all new ships, so yeah. Let's go. Yeah.
yeah. Who have we got on the red Ooh. lines? We've got what on uh, close and personal. Close and personal. Okay. Uh, what in earth is that? That's just a little Terran ship. It's a nice little Terran ship, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Got some uh, got some little lasers there. Two shields at the front. That's pretty tough. Look, shields are actually pretty good in standardized factions. It's like they're okay, right? They're pretty decent. Mm -hmm. um, I have no clue what's in the center of that. Of that. What that? Whatever that glowing mass of doom is in the middle of this ship. I don't entirely want to know what it is, but I also want to know what it is. Is that just Mycelic Doom spam? Is that drone spam? Is that what? What, what is that? I think it is missiles. <laughs> missiles. Of course, of course. As <laughs> Joyce would say, as Joyce would say, just standard Terran missile or obliteration meta. Oh no! Wait, uh, what? What is Joyce's quote? Uh, Terran missile meta. That's just. I think just, he said something more <laughs> funny than that. Oh well. No, this is a Yes. <laughs> oh, no. Um, yeah, so he has that. He has a few point defense guns, some hyper stack nonsense, flak cannons. He has charged lasers. Ooh, okay, neat. And um, yeah, pretty pretty decent, simple ship. Not very big. Doesn't actually doesn't have a lot of health, but it does have a lot of shielding, so might do okay. Um, yeah, there you go. Very hyper stacked. All right, yeah, that is Close and Personal by Bluefish1818, and that is actually Bluefish this time. <laughs> and um, <laughs> who do we have next? This is called Democracy by Imperiax. As you can tell, it is a very Imperiax-like ship. I don't know how to describe it, but you always know one when you see one. <laughs> With Absolutely. ridiculously hyper-stacked Bolsheviks. Just like... um. Uh, I don't know. Mars One's ship, by the way. Um, it, ha it has a bunch of forward thrust, turning thrust, and it's all in a very tight ball with a couple of concentric shields. And it's got an Avenger at the front. I think that's an AI trigger, but I'm not exactly sure. I think those MM1 Weird. missiles in there are for destroying the core after being taken out. And wait a second, is that super hyper stacked hexes? I have no That's clue. That's awesome. Man. That's a lot. I don't know what the ship is. I don't know how he made it. I don't know how anyone makes things like this. I, I, I don't, don't know how he made that one. That's a oh man. I just, I just Dark want to magic. go back to I just want to go back to 2015 reassembly. <laughs> <laughs> Stacking like this. <laughs> And that's Amazing. Democracy by Imperiax. And who do we have next? We got I Love Bees by I Am Bob. I love bees. Bees. Yes. And I love bees too, Bob. I love them too. Bees are great. This is just a bee catcher. It's got like little... I don't even understand what those two little twonkies at the front are for, but I I, 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 I assume they are quality bee engineering of the highest caliber. Um, but this ship looks really cool. I like its general design. I like its very kind of meshy structure. Meshy thing, giving it some volume, but saving it, uh, you know, saving it mass, but giving it volume, a bit more resistance to uh, AoE and other things. Uh, the Doom Beams are stacked over things. The Doom Beams are just lovely. Has a few shard launches on the corners, which is an interesting strategic decision. We'll have to see how that plays out. And a few of the PD guns, which are okay, but relatively terrible. Very fast ship. Okay, nice. It's a kind of a catcher, I guess. I guess, uh, Interesting. All right, nice. yeah. And that is I Love Bees by I Am Bob, right? It is, yeah. Yep. And who have we got finally on the red I lines? Am bees. <laughs> <laughs> I Am Bees! I Love Bees. I Love Democracy. The Red Alliance. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, which ship is this? <laughs> this is called Fortian Battleship. I hope I pronounced that right. I don't know how to pronounce three vowels in Fortian a row like that. Battleship. I don't Fortian know. Fortian Battleship. Yeah, those, those are not English vowels. So I don't understand. <laughs> By um, Xdrip7. This is a farmer ship. I think he's posted ships like this in the reassembly Discord. But along with that theme, it's rather pretty, I think. It's got a nice defined direction, I would say. It's got mm. a heavy turret in the front for close range damage and a bunch of point defense lasers and a few shields for splash protection. Note that every single one of the shields is protecting that main cannon. Therefore, it... it might might take more more damage to uh, destroy it, which is a nice little design yeah. thing. So yeah, thing. that is fourteen battleship by Xtrip Seven, and who have we got next? Ooh. Okie dokie, we have combat freighter. Combat Whatever freighter he is combat freighter. Okay, ah, oh, very nice. Who made this? This is by oh yeah, this is also by Xtrip. 
Exterp. Ooh, make a nice little, nice little Terran ship here. I like this ship. It's very nice overall design. Very pleasing. Uh, bonus points from just points from a stake point of view because I, I like this kind of design. Um, but yes, are those proton beams? Proton beams, tiny lasers, lots of torpedoes. Okay, all right. Never mind. I realize what this vessel is. Okay, all right. <laughs> I see. Right. We're a torpedo spinal obliteration unit. It's kind of a nice tor torp sniper. It's got the lasers there to help it focus on things correctly. Uh, it's got a bit of PD, reasonably maneuverable, and it has a harvester just because that's like a weird flex, but okay. Absolutely. <laughs> Look at all these extra points I had. Uh, nice. Well, yeah, that's uh, Combat Freighter by Xtrip7. Next who do we have? We got uh, Welp. We got I Welp. guess it's ready. I guess it's ready. <laughs> <laughs> this is also the joint submission between Flypaste and Duke Slayer. Uh, this is a Duke Slayer design, right? Very Rather simple, actually. It's just a trapper. It's got a heavy turret up there, a heavy turret right there, and a bunch of forward thrust to give it over the acceleration minimum. It's got a lot of blocks on this thing and a huge amount of health. And you know, it's a trapper and trappers, these are some finely tuned trappers of Duke Slayers. This whole design by Duke is really kind of, kind of amazing, um, but also, you know, grueling to watch. So <laughs> yeah. <laughs> The best combination needed for DRT. Amazing <laughs> but grueling. Yes. Indeed. <laughs> and this is by... Oh, yeah, Duke Slayer. Yeah, this is... Well, I guess it's ready. By Duke Slayer. And uh, who do we have next? Hunter Seeker. Hunter Seeker. By who? Uh, by Joyce18. Ah. Oh, yes. No, this is another Joyce ship. I understand that. It's got like a little tuning fork at the front. I don't know. It's like interesting. <laughs> it's like a little spacer. What is this vessel? What is in the center? Just zoom in in the center for me. What? Oh, that's big plasmas. So this is just a bunch of... Oh, there's a lot of little plasmas, big plasmas. Thrusters literally everywhere. And a power generator. That's it. It's a plasma ball. I love it. And with a nice... And got a quite nice design as well. Oh, nice. Good job, Joyce. Good it's job. Defense I have no clue. Well. I have no clue how you made the thruster diamond. The thruster gunball diamond. I don't know how you did it, but I love it. It's great. <laughs> all done. And yeah, all right. That is um, uh, Hunter Seeker by Joyce18. Next. Hunter Seeker. Who have we got? Hammer of Gelt. Hammer of Gelt by Drills. This is a farmer kiter. It's got a bunch and a bunch of thrusters, as you can see, and it's got a bunch of point defense, and it's got a bunch of missiles tucked away in that ball of light. And, right, everyone knows fire missiles are rather, rather effective. They do a lot of damage, they've got respectable speed, and, you know, they've got a massive splash. And I believe this ship uses M1s, yeah, MM1s and Sparrows, so, and with the reduced, with, with, with reduced cost of farmer weapons, dangerous, very very dangerous. So yeah, this is um, Hammer of Guilt by Drills. All nice. right. Good job. Let's go. Let's go. Ooh. Oh, Bob let's rocketing go. in. Oh my goodness. It is fast. Oh, no. <laughs> it is fast. <laughs> oh, I got hit by some sort of weapons. Oh my goodness, dude. Bob. Yo, okay. That's very right, Bob. <laughs> It's pretty fast. That it's is what fast. we call very fast. Oh, very, it's, very it's fast. literally on the other side of the arena. What is happening? What oh, is Imperiax happening? is moving into close range. Can it... Oh, 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 oh it got him. Imperiax got the trapper. Wow. That's not easy. And it's still alive. That's I, ridiculous. Yeah, again, we don't know oh. how Imperiax did it, but he did it. That's three. Oh. Joyce got caught oh. in the trapper. Joyce. Joyce, how could you? <laughs> Oh my goodness. <laughs> Bob. Mission. That is actually a phenomenally good distractor, I have to say. Goodbye. Please hit it. Yes. <laughs> oh no. Oh wait. That's why he gave it shard launches on the edges. Is this illegal? Mm. Oh. I mean, it's I not intended. It, it's really not People intended, yeah. Normal shit for most of the time. This is completely coincidental. But the problem, he, he did plan for the coincidence and I can't blame him for it. <laughs> <laughs> just knocked, he's like, oh, no more breaking points for you, that <laughs> that ship, and just knocked him out of the <laughs> way and let uh, oh. Exterp take the kill of himself. Goodbye. <laughs> take and, the kill of himself. <laughs> 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 it, 
<laughs> he destroyed his other <laughs> chef. He makes the take is the kill of himself. Dude, the Red Alliance oh. won that match. That is, yeah, man. my goodness, I am Bob. What is? <laughs> I... yeah, All was... caps is appropriate for your ship name. I'll just say that. I agree. Well, that's the first Blue Alliance loss. Complete scrub. Because they are complete scrub. Which is great. <laughs> that's super <laughs> awesome. <laughs> okay. That's all right. <laughs> glorious. All right. Um, me and our next match is match number five. Yeah. While the replays play, some very, very funny things happened in that match, right? Imperiax ended up destroying a trapper by burrowing through the inside. That is like, you know, not really supposed to happen. That's that's a hard <laughs> thing to do. And it just cut right through that armor. And very, very impressive. So yeah. This, that is a, well, that's match number four. Now let's get on to match number five. Who do we have in this match? We've got these. We six. have Phineas Fafip, Maliador, Thunderous Applause, Hindrance, Te Intrabo, Awakened Octagon, Ultra Heal, and Stupid O1. I all think right. we pretty much exhausted all of the, well, there's, I think there's what? There's two, two ships that we haven't introduced yet here. I think this is one of them, right? Phineas SP, SFP, yeah. Phineas SFP and then to Intrabo. All okay, right. You take this one, Bree. This is a, a it, it, this is an abbreviated name because it was about rather long. It is called for now. Mm -hmm. It's a sentient floor pill. So, what? Yeah. I don't know what that means, but it's by drills. <laughs> <laughs> this is well, a, I, uh, <laughs> mm, I don't I don't like this. I'm not comfortable <laughs> with this anymore. I don't want to be here. <laughs> This is a Terran chef. It's got six mortars, and it's got a bunch of defense cannon point defense. Featuring a few missiles as well. It's got... It's it's rather quick, too. It's got a very, very fast... Very fast little ship. Very fast little skirmisher. It's going to go into close range and go in, in, into long range and do serious splash damage to other members of... Well, to members of the enemy alliance. So, yeah, that is... Uh, for now, it's Ascension Floor Pill by Drills. Next, who do we have? Okay. This one. Now we have to Intrabo. And who's to Intrabo by? By uh, ALX. Ah, ALX. A... A first time competitor. Indeed. Isn't he? Mm hmm. Oh, okay. Oh, no. So he has a Terran missile launcher, basically. He just, again, he is a Terran missile launcher meta. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and he has a couple of uh, charge lasers in the middle for point defense, which is good. Uh, a couple of power generators. You don't need many when you're doing Terran launcher missile meta. Uh, and, of course, spaced blocky armor with some good overlapping in there. Uh, yeah, it's a good ship. Looks nice. Should do fine. It's very meta. Uh, not really points for style, but you know, pretty good. Points <laughs> for functionality, not points for style. Get wrecked. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Alex. Okay, and, let's uh, go. Yeah, let's qualification match number five. Let's get this going. Let's get it on the road. Jemmy firing road missiles. Again. Camo moves into on close range. Again. Getting trapped yeah. while still trap. being healed by all of the drones. Ooh. Oh, oh. The, mm, mm. Camo being a distraction for the entire Red Alliance. Yes. Go, Camo. Then oh, supplies camo. firing a missile burst, failing. While the other members you know of the what, Alliance Debris? sit back and kite. Debris, we were wrong. Camo isn't a healing ship. He's a distractor. That's a good that point. Oh, oh, it's gone. Drills just he mortared was... it to oblivion. <laughs> now he's now he's a deader. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, speaking of deader, Maliador, oh, no. bye bye. Maliador is gone. <laughs> Maliador gone. Missiles Maliador. from the other side of the arena may become a problem momentarily. But there's a lot. There's a lot of damage against. Against, Jim, uh, that is a that is a great little tinkerel unit. I love it. That's it is brrr. does some serious damage, and it I think it spends a lot more money on guns than it does on, you know, um, <laughs> uh, thrust. And that might be a good investment, yeah. especially because of the infinite backwards thrust that you get as a given when you use tinkerel. Infinite backwards thrust. Yeah. Yeah, hey, Alexis ship there, surviving well, getting some good missiles off. Yeah, I think it's a good job. Uh, What's the ship on the left? Uh, that is... 
Hmm. Oh, well, here comes the sentient floor pill. <laughs> what the hell that ship is? <laughs> Ooh, miss some torpedoes finally hit a ship. That's good, that's good. And for now, the sentient floor pill has lost his shield. It's back up now, yeah, but, but that's it... not good for that ship. I think he... Luckily, I think he has more than enough power generation for it. Oh, there goes, um... My submission. Uh, which one is that? Uh, that thunderous applause, thank thunderous you. Thunderous applause, yeah. Oh, thunderous applause. Three versus four here. This is, uh... You know? Yeah. Not great. Not great, but possible. I think floor pill might do okay. <laughs> camo. Octagon. Oh, camo. <laughs> Look, Camo, the problem is the AI just doesn't have a concept of supporting its allies. <laughs> <laughs> the trick would be to um, make it a... Um, set it to the binding AI flag and make every weapon that you don't want to use for range calculation in auto-fire or point defense or at least a lower priority binding. Was that a points victory? That seems like a yeah. points victory because this ship is like, intact. Victory. Okay. All right. Blue Alliance so, takes the match on points. Uh, if, now, vanilla. I mean, uh, debris. Sorry, why vanilla? What the hell? Vanilla? Debris. <laughs> you, debris, you sound a lot like another guy I talked to, which is vanilla. Sorry. Uh. <laughs> it's, 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 I'm sorry. You, you remind me a lot of him when you see the kind of the voice. <laughs> so, uh, the ones that don't die, I obviously don't have to strike them out, right? Correct. Right. Okay, good. Okay, so blue is now bold and just bold there you go okay fantastico and yeah fantastico. all underlined and you're good to go oh camo i'm sorry camo look i mean the problem is just the reassembly ai is in no way meant it, it, it just it has no concept of going to its allies <laughs> <I> don't believe <laughs> yeah sadly i think I think pure medic loadout is not always um, the best solution. I think you want drone medic loadout, right? You want healing units, but you also want stuff that keeps you... I mean, I know you know that, right? But I'm just saying that, but also health, just so you can be slower. Then your guy doesn't necessarily dart into the enemy. Coping mechanisms. And I'm, I'm not exactly helpful, I know. But... Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I don't know. The only way I've managed to make useful healers is when they are slow and basically act like battleships, which just so happen to heal. <laughs> then they kind of become useful. It's a bit sad, but yeah, I don't know. Or just ranged raids that just, yeah, I don't know. It's, it's annoying. Very annoying. Yeah, <laughs> the Matilda technique. What's the Matilda technique? Okay, man, what? What is this reference? I don't understand that, man. Okay, I messed up something. I underlined everything. Yes, on the correct, action. camo. <laughs> correct, camo. That, that is quick. entirely correct. Be the slowest thing on your team. Yes. Sorry, debris. Sorry. What did you say? So, um, just I had, I had to underline the match number five, and uh, it ruined the the, the strike through. Um, so, Malidor is gone. Thunder what did you do? Gone. How did you ruin the... I think. Yeah, there you go. I think it's that's fixed. it right there. there is, you, you got it. You got it. You got it. Okay. Yeah, yeah, that's correct. That's how it was. <laughs> All right. Anyway. Updating. Change me, change me. Okay. Sorry, I forgot to underline. Hey, you're, you're all good. You're all good. Okay, dicky. Let's go to the next match. Match number six. Who do we got in match number six? In match number six, we have Motorwell, which I keep wanting to say is Mortarwell. Uh, so Motorwell, Heron, Nova, non-meta paste ball, Fox Lily D3, Hardship, Kazaplik, and Go Fish. All right, let's get this match started. Let's get this ball on the road. And since we've seen on the road again. Um everyone here, right? We've seen everyone? We've seen everyone here. We've yep. seen yeah. everyone here. On Let's the road go. Again. On the road again. Let's go. Ooh, charging right in. And oh my joy, that is a lot of red firepower. Infamous Yen you and rocketing out of range. Yeah, get out of there, Yen. <laughs> get out of there. And check out that Ooh, point defense yeah. from Imperiax. Oh yeah, man. Oh, <laughs> And oh. Dalrithine, oh, getting taken out by a burst laser strike, I think. Gone. Yeah. Oh, and uh, not Mutin. Fox Lily is a little too close to members of the Red Alliance. It doesn't have enough thrusters anymore. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Fox Lily. And there it goes. And now we've got a couple kiters on the Blue Alliance um, left. Which ones are these? 
These are both of uh, Sly Fox's ships, looks like. Bunch of drones. What are, the, what are the names? Oh, Hardship and... um. It's right there. Go Fish. Go, go Fish, right. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean it's right there? Pri, I don't know where you read this information from. Oh, I, I, don't know I have my sheet this. up on the, on, the, on, the other, on the other screen. I'm, uh... Yeah. <laughs> But yeah, so currently we have three ships still alive on the Red Alliance, and the only ship that's died yeah. so far, and it looks like it's Heron, the red ship. Right. But the rest of the Red Alliance is going strong, but isn't getting into close range because of the very long range of the ships on the Blue Alliance. The points are very, very strongly in favor of the Red Alliance still. That is point defense that to rival the yep. Pulsar frigate. <laughs> <laughs> this, my friend, is why we use Blast Pulse point defense. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes, feel the power of the sun. <laughs> <laughs> feel the power of the sun. Sly Fox says he's getting hard carried by Yen Yu. Yen Yu says you're welcome. <laughs> oh man. The non meta paste ball is moving, trying its best to move into close range, but as a crystal, it's very hard to take out kiters yeah. with their slow speeds. And but there it goes, it wins the match on points. Mm. Alright. Mm. Okay, so that was a match win on points. Uh, I've already noted down all the guys that lost. So we go underline. Cool. The <laughs> <laughs> uh, Oh, that. Why does that undo the other formatting? It's. I have no idea. It's really kind of annoying. That's extreme. So basically, I. Okay. So we. So okay. We lost hardship. Kazaplex, right? Oh, uh, hardship and far. Wait, okay, Debris, who died? Hold on, I'm confused now. <laughs> we lost Fox uh, Lily. Kaza Kazaplex. Um, okay, it was Kazaplex, right? And then it was uh, Heron, I think. Yeah. Heron. Right. And the red lights took the match. Good. Yep. Boom. Oh, pal. Five points. Okay. Fortune. The All right, and who have we got in the next match? Well, we've got Fortune Battleship. Fortune favors the bold. <laughs> uh, we've got oh, 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 UM Medic Farm. Welp, I guess it's ready. I love Bees Crossfire, Thonyadar, and Generic Kaita. And I'm going to pre underline this fleet so I don't have to fight with it next time. Mm. <laughs> Get wrecked, game. Now, note that on the red lines, uh, we've got a rank three ship that is 0000, 000, 000, 000, 000 UM. And on the blue lines, we've got Crossfire, a rank two ship. So we've got some high rank competitors in this match. So let's, you know, let's get this going. Uh -huh. Boom. 0000, 000, 000, 000 UM in a close range, close to the red alliance. Getting a little ooh, too ooh, close, but ooh, also distracting. Ooh. Very interesting. Camo coming in, um, doing damage with its blast, with its uh, close range cannon, and doing some damage and getting out of range very nicely. Good job for Camo Five right there, managing to get some hits off on, on Mons while Extrip comes in and tags him out. Very nice teamwork there. Ooh, Extrip got a massive torpedo hit. Oh, three. Yes. You put in match. You put in match. I'm uh, sorry. The blue alliance from match eight. <laughs> I'm going to actually <laughs> die. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay. Cut. We go. I thought, Let's do I that thought again. For a second, I thought for a second, that's not Thonya Dar. <laughs> What's happening? Uh, I can at least be sorry. That's not, that's, that's not I love bees. What's happening? That's annoying. And Chad is, of course, going crazy. It was like, wrong blue team. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Apologize for that fire. one. <laughs> All right, I think um, we got the right one now, don't we? Yeah, yeah, we have it now. Better clear Massive, my replays. Uh. 
All right, let's get this going. Oh, oh my <laughs> wife! Okay. He's right. no, he's not that. He's he, he's he's pretty fast. Oh he's my goodness! Fast. Oh my goodness! Could it take out the tinkerel? Oh, it didn't didn't manage to get it. But it is distracting the rest of the alliance. Oh, 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 I love bees. I love democracy. I love the republic. <laughs> <laughs> Thonyadar, please do something useful. Thonyadar, please try it. Thonyadar. That was... Thonyadar, why, why are you so dumb? Oh, I'll get him. Aim those torpedoes, my friend. Go Aim. Those torpedoes do pretty well. If they do, yeah. Micro's actually done very well in this little fight. He's got some uh, forty in battleship. <gasps> camo, yes, camo. Yes. Oh, nice. There we go. Throwing camo gets seeds, to do his too. duty. <laughs> He's throwing some seeds around. There you go. Oh, look at that. Good job. Nice healing on that. Nice healing on those ships, Camo. Nice healing on those ships. Oh, uh, I think it was Yenu. Someone asked if the healing is still clamped to like six blocks. Yeah, I, I forgot to do that. It is still clamped to six blocks. Kind of sucks. Oh, Thonyudar. Because, you know, I forgot Just about that. Just run Thonyudar. Thonyudar, if you somehow oh, no. get a decent ranking... Oh, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> never mind. Forget I said anything. Forget I mentioned basically anything about Thonyudar. Forget Thonyudar existed. There you go. Very easy situation. And there it goes. <laughs> there. Well, <laughs> they all died. They, okay. they all died. <laughs> there goes the Blue Alliance. There goes the Republic. The Republic has fallen. And that's how Liberty dies to thunderous support. <laughs> <laughs> more, Star more Star Wars references. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I watched the third ep the third episode like the other night, and so these memes are fresh in my mind. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. Oh, Debris, have you ever watched um uh Star War the the third the third return backstroke of the West? Um, I don't, I don't, I don't think so. <laughs> no, sorry. Star War, the third gathers backstroke of the West. I, is a, <laughs> it is a bootleg Chinese copy of, of, of Star Wars episode three translated it back into English. And it is, it is hilarious. That is something is, that I must watch now. You, That's you like must. a requirement. If you literally just search Star War Three, uh, Star Wars Three, the uh, Star War, Star War, the Third Gathers. If you just search that, you will find it, and, and watch the watch the dubbed version. It's the whole movie. It's amazing. It is <laughs> it is insanity. Anyway, off topic. Back to topic. <laughs> All right, we got match number eight queued up. This time we actually have the things from match number eight, and not mm. from different matches. So yeah. Let's... So we have um, Monitor, Hammer of Gelt, Stabbing Time, Jimbo, Combat Fracture, uh, Phineas Fipip, Claw Monster, and Big Tree. Note that we have the rank 3 ship Jimbo on the red lines. So, yeah. Let's try this out. Let's go. Oh, the duel of the nice-looking Terran ships. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so what's going on okay. now? Bunch of the red lines firing into Mons, Ooh. but managing not managing to get oh. much out of that. Oh, man. But yeah, oh, um, most of rough. them are already destroyed. That's an ouch. They're Might be the gone. end of Jimbo, Jimbo's Just... rank as well. That's a bummer. Goodbye, Jimbo. Goodbye. Goodbye, Jimbo. It was the best of times. It was the worst of times. Uh, and there it goes. That was a match. You meant... Match number eight. Oh my goodness! I'm so sorry. I put the overlay up. I'm 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 not having a good day. Uh, 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 <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let's. It's okay. Do you want me to do that match one more time? Sure. Why not? Let's do that match Let's one more it. time. I'm sorry. Don't count anything I, that you just I, saw. I, that is. Just... I don't think the result's going to change much. Luckily, <laughs> thanks to the way yeah. that map, map change trait played out. All right. Qualification match number eight. Let's see what happens. <laughs> oh my gosh. Everyone on the red lines moving into a close range, except for Jimbo this time, which is staying out, and Hammer of Gelt also rushing in. This is looking like a different result with Minotaur. Oh, Minotaur got destroyed by the immense amount of splash. 
on so now it's ascension floor pill um extra is getting taken out by hammer of guilt but hammer of guilt doesn't look like it has many missiles left yes hammer of guilt took an equal bit of punching oh and who is that that skill um... is alive still he somehow don't know how don't know how sword stabber managed it but he is but this this is this is looking you know a lot differently <laughs> well it's so far you know. it could go the same direction but it looks like crystal yeah. ship is getting pounded on yeah it's a lot of health ah, in that crystal no. though stabbing time stabbing times out mons is getting out ranged though and with those missiles, they mm -hmm. both have missiles, though, so I don't know. What's going on over here? Both have missiles. Ooh, it's Hammer of Guilt is moving oh, in and out of close get range. Out of there, Gilt. Come on, Guilty. Come on, Guilty. Get out of there. Get out of there, Guilty. Ooh, oh, Farmer. Guilty. Oh, and there it goes. Guilty, Guilty. <laughs> Jim is like, no, we have to see Jimbo die again. Oh. Um, Joyous says the yeah. Discord profile picks are covering the ship count on the red team. Can't see how how many ships left. Let me try to scoot that around. I can't drag it for some reason. <laughs> there you go. I'm sorry for all these technical problems. I'm... Right, but yeah, okay, we got it now. Okay, so that was a win on elimination, right? It looks like it was. And on the blue lines, someone did die. And that someone was, for now, it's essentially... was no, Claw Monster. Claw Monster, yeah. I was wrong. Okay, cool. Excellent. All right. Let's look at the replays from multiple matches, it looks like. Let's not look at the replays. All right. Now who we have next in match number nine. Next in next year, we have GoFish, Hunter Seeker, Democracy, Nova, Heron to Indrabol, Close and Personal. We haven't seen Close and Personal before, have we? Oh yeah, we have. That's this ship. Oh sorry, I'm confused. Okay. Close and personal and thunderous applause. All which is right. Which is coincidentally exactly what the Republic died to when Liberty died. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Oh, yeah. We have democracy against thunderous applause. Glorious. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Excellent. This is how democracy dies to thunderous applause. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this let's, couldn't be better. Let's get this going. Go. Blue lines is staying together. Oh, a big burst of oh. torpedoes has bursted down. Ooh, here's Democracy versus Thunderous Applause. Uh, uh, Will Democracy uh, win? Will our ideal, uh, ideals uh, die? Oh, ideals the die. torpedoes. This is, this, is high inten this is high intensity. You have to focus on this one. This is, this is, this is, yes. Other ships are fighting over here. And it looks like Heron is not having a good day. Um, from a bunch of drones. Oh no, democracy is beating. <laughs> Applause. <laughs> oh, torpedoes! Oh, torpedoes! Torpedoes! Oh god! Oh no! <laughs> There's a lot of things going on right now, and it looks like democracy is distracted on someone else. Oh, and there Anakin. it goes. Oh my goodness! Anakin, look at the this star. Is evil. Oh, that's beautiful. <laughs> I will bring peace, stability, justice to my new empire. Your new empire? <laughs> Anakin, my allegiance is to the democracy, to the republic. <laughs> oh, no. Oh. Oh. Thunder Supplies <laughs> beats democracy. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> George Lucas, you're a genius. George Lucas. <laughs> you're a genius. <laughs> oh man all right oh. <laughs> nova is a uh, you oh, know man being in nova oh, imperial oh, but thunderous applause is getting destroyed by the people itself <laughs> get wrecked get wrecked thunderous applause <laughs> and democracy comes back to haunt him <laughs> 
Oh, oh look at that. Oh, flat cannon power. Thunderous applause is right there with him. Hey, hey, here, hey, take these drones, Vi. <laughs> that's what he, that's what he's drones, like. Vi. Which one is the pulsar? Uh, that's Nova. Right. Oh yeah, of course. Of course it's Nova, obviously. Should have that should have been obvious to me. Eight seconds Thunder left. Supposed, did Thunder Supposed die? It's still alive, but it's it could it took a serious beating, and I think that lost most of the blue alliance's points, and there it goes. The Red Alliance right. takes the match on points. Whew. Right. So who is still alive on the blue team? It was Thunderous Applause and... Uh... What was the other ship? That was... Uh... You. Whatever this one is called. That is called... Uh... Close and Personal. Right. And then Red Team lost... Who did they lose? They lost... Um... They lost democracy, and I think they lost someone else. Who they lose? Yeah, I know they lost democracy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, was it Hunter Seeker? Oh yeah, Hunter Seeker. Please go fish. Just find go fish. Uh, go fish is right uh, here. Oh great! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, it was Hunter Seeker. Fantastic. Okay, all good. All right. All good. Let's check our and next like match. Um, uh, yeah. Who's our next match? Match number nine. Uh, match number ten, actually. Match number ten, actually. We'll actually put ships from match number nine in. Oh, that'd be fun. We got to have a we get to have a second go. <laughs> Unless I'm the one confused. Look, I, I'm I might be the one confused. Who knows? <laughs> so in match number ten, we have Ultra Heels, Fortune Battleship, Heartship, Crossfire, Kazaplex, Welp. I guess it's ready. And Generic Kiter and Maliador. Note that on the Red Alliance, we've got a ship that is rank 2, as you'll see here. Alright, turn it back to the small overlay. Let's get this going. <laughs> Let's go. Okay, well, our good old tough uh, tough charge ship is going right in there. Our, Terran, our, our farmer ship this has decided it wants to be the center of attention, though. Camo is Getting, healing uh... excerpt. Yeah, Camo is healing excerpt. Oh, who is that? Someone just got droned, I think, or something. That was, uh, uh, uh that was Kazaplex. Yeah, it was Kazaplex. Oh, and there the trapper and... takes another victim. Who's, what's happening over here? Camo and the generic Kiter are fighting. Huge drone pulses and, oh, and enough get point him, defense to deal with those missiles. Get him, get him, get him. What's going over here? Oh, did Mal no Malidor change targets or something? Yeah. Mal Malidor, Malidor, much like the Saunder, has um, uh, performance anxiety. It doesn't know who to pick. It um... <laughs> it's like I could pick him. I could pick him. Yeah, like, oh, which one do I do? Which is this? Fire? This is. Oh, it is crossfire. Thank you. Kiting, but it might get squished into the arena border here. Not a good spot for Mons. Oh, oh no, Mons and there it goes. Goodbye, Crossfire. Someone took you out served. Camo 5. I'm sorry I missed that. But yeah. Yeah, uh, everyone died. Everyone, everyone died. took Distracted. the death. Yeah, yeah. All right, now looking at that match, right? The Blue Alliance had a lot of a lot of health and you know you tried to, the blue lines tried to push in it looked like and um you know it, it got some good good kills from pinching a couple of the other ships when ships went behind the other enemies and the trapper came up and you know gave him a little give him a little uh uh greeting so yeah yeah Okay, match, match 11. 11. Non-meta pasteball. Medic farm. Combat freighter. I love bees. Minotaur. Claw monster. Mortarwell and the hindrance. Mortarwell is rank three right now, so it's it's doing pretty doing pretty well. It's got a very high raking yeah, score. Yeah. Let's see mm. what will happen here. If you haven't noticed already, um, in the overlay, the ships that have a high rank, the top three, um, get a little bit of stuff all right before we start i gotta there's a lot of thrust going on right second. now 
It was one second that B has already shifted like three of its own lengths. <laughs> <laughs> what a starship. Let's go. I love bees. I love bees too. Oh we my goodness. Yes, yes, yes. Go oh bees. no, we got, we got taken out. Minotaur got him. Oh no. Oh, we love bees, but they are terrible. Oh, here, here's your healing beams. Yes. Oh, camo. Oh, camo. Yes. They're being oh, blocked. Cam it, it, oh, camo. Ooh, but. So now, who will take. Oh, Minotaur comes in to spice things up. Come on, Cam. Keep him alive, Camo. Keep him alive, Camo. Yes, Camo, be a good medic. Yes. Oh, oh, there it goes. Rank three competitor. Dishing out insane firepower. Oh, man. And that is red team gone. <laughs> wow. All right, then. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, Camo, that was great. For a few moments, that ship was kept alive by pure Camo. <laughs> yeah, great. dude. Camo was being oh. the true protector. Who was that? Who was alive? Yeah, was that combat freighter? That was combat freighter, right? Yeah, it was combat Ship freighter. Ship that died. That, that camera was keeping alive. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think so. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Right. Match. Oh. As we take a look at the replay early on in the match, oh, yeah? the B just it flew. It flew far, and it put and it put one of the ships on the on the enemy alliance. Rather far away from the rest, and that kind of helped the rest of his line partners a lot. Even though um, the B ship did die during that conflict, so yeah. And then of course, right, uh, Mars One's ship is actually ridiculous uh, with its firepower, especially in that tiny little package. So, so yeah, that is it's match number eleven. Let's go and take a look at match number twelve. So match number twelve. So we have Stupid01, Close and Personal, Big Tree, Jimbo, Hammer of Guilt, Democracy, UM, and Te Intrabo. All right, let's get this match off the ground. Also, we got, we got our highest ranked competitor. That's Joyous with uh, 0000UM on the blue alliance. Hmm. So yeah, let's go. Let's go. What a Joyous thing to do. Launch bills from both alliances coming out. Joy is getting some shots off on close and personal, while Hammer of Gelt decides to rush in. That's not a good strategy. Oh, Gelty. Get out of there, Gelty. Get out of there, Gelty. Oh, Gelty. Jimbo's oh, right Gelty. there with a pincher maneuver and also hitting missiles on our highest ranked competitor. Um, Democracy fires its weapons at the Big Tree. There's like some like metaphor there, I think. Um, <laughs> and uh, <laughs> then there's. Uh, <laughs> Oh, it's, it's okay. democracy is getting overwhelmed, oh, right. and um, yeah, Jimbo is right there with a bunch of missiles, and as well as the big tree. <sighs> oh no, it's got to get out of there! But it's got an alliance partner firing missiles at Jimbo. Oh, that damage oh. output of democracy is massive in the times that it matters it the most. That's another metaphor, <laughs> and. Um, <laughs> and who else? Did, who else? Who's the other one that just died? Who's that? Dude, I, dude. Blue Alliance cleaning oh. up. Oh. Well, okay. If, if Blue Alliance destroy everyone, it doesn't matter who just died. <laughs> <laughs> My job is easier. <laughs> oh, man. Joyce is a rather close range Tinkrel. Okay. Retains the, only rank blue, one. the only blue one that died was Democracy? Did this ship die? Yeah, yeah. They died. It got nuked. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. All right. Uh, who. I think it was democracy. No, democracy's alive. <laughs> democracy's still alive. <laughs> um, it was actually, it was actually M. It was zero 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 UM that died actually. Oh no, it's still alive. It's still alive. No, no, so uh, it was. Um, oh, hammer of guilt. Sorry, hammer, hammer of, of guilt. guilt. Obviously, my apologies for being <laughs> of the dumb. <laughs> okay, there we go. Stealing farmer thrusters. Thank you, Demo Didlev. And of course, forgetting to look at the replays. <laughs> that's my that's my theme song. Um, and yeah, there you can see Democracy's epic fights there. As I queue up for qualification match number thirteen. Yep. Democracy got match number thirteen. Qualification match number thirteen. Democracy got super close to dying there. Do you see that? It, it was yeah. on its last <laughs> legs. 
but the, with the well, power of its constituents, yeah. it, it <laughs> takes the win. Well, we don't we don't truly know just how many shields are in the center of democracy. We don't truly know that. It's like a black <laughs> hole, right? You, you, don't, you don't really know what's in there. So, really, it could have we could have it could have just that was just like a scratch of the paint. In truth, it was never in danger. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Okay. Match number Match 13. 13. We have Nova, Stabbing Time, Awakened Octagon, Fox Lily D3, The Thonyadar, Phineas of the Hunter Seeker, and Fortune Battleship. All right. Note on the red lines, uh, we have. Is that true? Sorry. Let's take a look at that overlay one more time. On the red lines, we have Awakened Octagon, who is currently our rank third competitor. And yeah. Sweet. Small coal overlay, and let's get this match going. All right, Hammer, I'm not, sorry, Hunter Seeker moving into close range against. Go, Hunter Seeker. Oh man, that's a lot of damage oh, from that Terran ship. Democ democracy denied the Hunter Seeker. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sword. Oh no. Sword there, died to torpedoes. Splash. Yeah. Oh, oh, torpedoes from from your thorn bush are taking oh, out. Oh, the thorn bush did something. Amazing. Get him! Oh, Thorniadar! Oh, Thorniadar! Get him! Oh man, it's it's, it's getting some shots off. Alive. Oh, Thorniadar, you're such a scuffed ship. You're such a scuffed ship, Thorniadar. You're so useless. Why did I make you? Oh, Thorniadar! Get him, Thorniadar! Go on. I missed something. Your, darn it! The drills' ship has destroyed <gasps> Imperiax. Oh, wow! Wow, he wow, got him. Sheesh. Okay. Good job. Drills, if you take out uh, the other dude, I'll take out the other dude, okay? <laughs> <laughs> a little, little plan here. <laughs> Look, Thornidar is now working. Look, all its pieces come off. And it, uh, well, what? okay, maybe. It's like a, it's like an AI trigger. <laughs> After you Basically, remove the yeah, thorn yeah. bushes, it's a beautiful flower. <laughs> nice. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Oh, look, all the pieces are gone, so now it's actually just a very effective uh, run away. Run away. Run away! If it actually decides to run away. Um, <laughs> oh, look! <laughs> he was pushing him. Oh, Awakened Octagon and uh, uh, a Fox Lily, right? Yeah, it's Awakened Octagon and Fox Lily having a good old time. That's a dangerous matchup because the splash of Drills' ship has a huge effect on that Sentinel, that little super t tightly stacked Sentinel, but those Gauss beams on that ship do a lot mm. of damage, especially to the lightly armored ship that Drills has brought. Which one is a, which, what's the name of Drills' ship again? Drills' ship is for now, it's Ascension Floor Pill. Right, thank you. Oh, 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 it got some I... hits off. And with that, it oh, looks like good job, it's good job. just about curtains. The ship's good still job. alive. Drills if is not getting into closer. Drills, please. Drills, please. Please, Drills, please. Plus drills. Plus drills. Where the hell is Thonyadar? Oh, it's just rebuilt its bush. Okay. <laughs> Thonyadar. Drawing back. Okay, Thonyadar. Whatever you want. Go drills. Go drills. Drills is here to spice up the match. <laughs> Thonyadar, Ooh, please no points. shout into the CN. <laughs> <laughs> Thonyadar, please no. <laughs> uh, get him floor pill yes drills drills what is your naming convention and why do i hate it <laughs> why is this the situation for him? <laughs> okay so um fox Lily died uh awakened octagon survived stabbing time died awakened yeah awakened octagon was five Thondidor, and the other ones okay great good stuff and they won on points that wasn't elimination right Correct. That was points. Yeah, okay, great. Sentinel sleeper agent. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Okay. All right. Uh, one moment. I'm going to mute my microphone. I'll be back in just a minute or so. Entertain the masses' okay. laughs while what? the replay plays. Um, the, uh, I don't know how to talk to people. <laughs> I think I am. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll be back soon. <laughs> Go away, debris. Shut up. All Go right. away. Stop being here. Go away. Don't even. Don't even dare to come back. <laughs> I'm in. <laughs> All right, chat. I'm in charge now. <laughs> you hear me? <laughs> I don't know what we're gonna do, but <laughs> I don't think we really have much to do. <laughs> 
these are random word generated drills why oh no there's no need to work for that for what others have to dream to achieve what what is this what you have... okay jam i think this is a dangerous degree of um of uh, of idealization i think i can't support this uh, but the name is a reference if you don't know when you don't mm, if you don't know then you don't know okay drills okay okay cannot imagine i cannot imagine a reference where floor pill just as a just as a name would be <laughs> cult of laps right now uh but the name is a reference yeah Cody. I will, yes. yes. Ooh. Oh, All right, we're back. Damn it, Debris. I was about to go into analysis of the replay. Of the replay. How could you do this to me? <laughs> so was, uh, guns, guns asked me, how's the wife and kids? Uh, they're about <laughs> they're about a couple years in the future. A few years in the future. Not here right now. A few years in the future. It's <laughs> supposed <laughs> <laughs> Strange way of putting Tune that. in for that 2024 <laughs> summer DRT to find out next. <laughs> if laps is a if laps is a wife or not. It's like, okay, well. I'll lapse you quickly. Oh, wow, impressive. What the hell's happening? Okay. Let's go with the next match. Who have we got? All right, Dante. Match 14. We have uh, Hardship. Oh, fitting. Combat Freighter. <laughs> Combat Freighter. Generic Kyder, Heron, Medic Farm, Thunderous Applause, Claw Monster, and Ultra Heals. So Camo fights Camo. Oh, no, no, sorry, sorry. Two Camo ships. We have Medic Farm and Ultra Heals. This is going to be an interesting composition. In... Oh, it's going to be interesting. Look at this. Indeed. Let's get this going. Uh, which, which one is Hardship? Hardship is this red ship right here. Right, thank you. It's surprising that when you look at them, if if you spend the whole game, the whole tournament looking at the matches sheet, you completely forget which ships are which. <laughs> That's... I I sympathize with Duke now. I understand why he never knows what's going on <laughs> because I have no clue what's going on. I don't know which ship is which. <laughs> it's amazing. Well, it currently oh, looks man. like the red alliance is moving. The, sorry, the blue alliance is was moving. No, the red alliance uh, moving together. Camo 5 is healing the enemy. Ooh, Thunderous Applause getting it from the backside. Oh, Thunderous Applause. GG. Oh, that's still fine. What am I saying? Hardship is f still at the back of the arena. Thunderous Applause is attempting to fire torpedoes in front of Jammy. And here comes yep. Mons to tag out Thunderous Applause. <laughs> that's what you call teamwork, ladies and gentlemen. And here oh, comes Camo. To save camera, the day. Medic. Heal me, Camo. Come on, Camo, please. Heal me, Camo. Be my medic, Camo. And there goes... Oh, man. Generic Kyder. Oh, Torpedo's getting on target multiple oh. times right now. Oh, 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 that repercussion shot. Dude, yeah, I the, love the arena border shot. bounce. That's the fun stuff, right? It's so it's so much fun. Okay, here's a, a, a ahead of time shot. Will the reassembly AI be able to... Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Get, wow. Get it, yes. Oh. <laughs> oh, yes. That's, that deserves a thunderous applause. Thanks, thanks, Camo. Appreciate oh. it. <laughs> yes, pull Camo. One pull one out for Arthur Danskin. Everybody, pull one out for <laughs> Arthur Dan. <laughs> okay, the missiles are getting taken out by run, Camo. Boy, run. They're trying to catch you. Run, boy, run. And the secret inside you. Run, boy, run. <laughs> Camo's after you, and so <laughs> is Bonds and everyone. Boot, do do do. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay. <laughs> hey. GG Raid team. There we have it. That Ooh. was, you know, was... <laughs> quite the match. Dude, Camo being a true healer, sticking with its alliance partners when they need it most, 
is kind of legendary right now. Um, Thunderous Applause got some <laughs> shots off, but... <laughs> Died on... <laughs> seems like the main thing here is that the Alliance worked together, which, uh, you know... Uh, again. I can't tell which of Camo's uh, medics died. Oh, did, were they? Oh, oh uh, Ultra Heals is the red. Ultra Heals died. Thank you. Much appreciated. No problem. And then on the fifth, fifth match 15, just queuing that up. Yeah, just in this match, <laughs> right? Crystal. Check out these <laughs> torpedoes right here in this replay. I'm freaking out of frame. Why did I... Okay. One moment. Just gotta do a little bit of OBS. Yeah, yeah. Indeed, drills, indeed. That was just... Drills, that's what we call... Just reassembly happenstance. That is just that's what that's what just happens. I don't know how. I think it's the ship like, was actually fighting Jammy and it just missed and it hit Sly Fox. <laughs> no, I I know that's the I mean we know that's the case. We know it was a miss hit, but the fact that it was a miss hit is insanity. Yeah. Like Well you know that's uh, why I put that. I've I've seen arc. I've seen I think I remember one of um Excerpt's ships that was like a mine layer. And it threw out one mine. And that mine went just in the middle of the field. And one of the enemy tiny ships just ran right into the mine. It was amazing. Just, there was, it could have gone anywhere else. It was just one damn mine in the middle of the darkness. And the enemy tiny ship ran directly into it. I remember that and it just died. <laughs> that that happened. Oh, man. I love it. I love that stuff. <laughs> Yeah, that's the, that's okay. the most fun part, in my opinion. But yeah, we've got qualification match number 15 queued up, so let's get this 15. going. Democracy, Minotaur, non made a paste ball. Welp, I guess it's ready. Maliador, Big Tree, Intrabo, and I love bees. And B. Rank 3, we have Democracy on the Red Alliance. So yeah, we'll see what happens there and if it can maintain its high rank. So let's check. Yes. Let's go back to the small overlay. I love, love bees. I love democracy. I love I love big trees. Oh, oh, pause, pause, pause. That was close. I clicked on the small one. I clicked on the small overlay. Okay, maybe not. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Away we go with the, the bees. The bee ship just going everywhere, burrowing into the hole. Oh, but it got taken out by oh, the oh, ma I massive splash there. I love bees. An epic brawler battle. Duke Slayer is not victorious. <laughs> no meta baseball is, is dead. Oh. Glorious. All right. Let me let me turn on auto camera. Auto camera. When did Mali When did Maliador die? Oh, all the way over there. Yeah, fair enough. Get him, Reds. Get him. Get him. Oh, red team. Red team's basically all dead. But these are the only ships left. So this is, you know, trappers. Trappers do do some weird freaking crap like that, and so this yeah, yeah. actually could go in favor of the red alliance. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Intrabo, stay alive. Intrabo, stay alive. Please, Intrabo. For all that is right before blue team. Well, I mean, actually. Yeah. I'm an impartial as a server, I don't really care, but no. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody please win. <laughs> oh dude, look at the remains of ships on on oh, that wow, that's on bad. Duke's hole. That's oh no, it's cool. getting too close, it's getting too close. No. Intrabo. Get out of there. Don't go closer. Oh, why? <laughs> why are you doing this? Why are you like this? Why are you oh. like this? And there it goes. The Red Alliance takes the match on destruction amazing by pure ai stupidity <laughs> only one ship left on that in that match pretty close you know hey yeah absolutely clown ai <laughs> clone ai yes guns it is clone ai <laughs> 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 
<laughs> Laps trying his best to remain impartial while secretly hating trappers. I mean, troll ships. Trappers are like this weird position between troll ships and, well, I mean, trappers are troll ships in a sense, but trappers aren't necessarily troll ships all the time. But there are definitely troll ship trappers. Troll ships I don't like just because the AI is dumb about them. But trappers are fine. They can be. Yeah. Mm -hmm. My secret fury against trappers. Yeah. Win is a win. <laughs> yes, debris. Indeed it is. <laughs> Indeed it is. Here we go. We got 16, right? Yeah, 16's up next. All right. Just in that Seven match, right? Team. Yeah, check it out. Yeah, all right. Let's take a look at the next match. All right, as I clear the replay playlist, let's give this thing a start. Yeah, Hammer of Gelt, Awaken Doctagon, Go Fish, the Thonyadar, Jimbo, Hindrance, Crossfire, and Fox Lily. All right. I for, a second, I for a second thought this was 17, and I was very confused. <laughs> I can't count. <laughs> let's go. All right, let's get this thing off the ground. Red Alliance is mostly retreating, except for Hammer of Gelt. And Blue Alliance yeah, is mostly charging in. Hammer, hammer, Ooh. hammer time. Hammer, hammer, hammer time. Hammer Jimbo of Gelt, got... hammer time. <laughs> oh, that's Hammer of Gelt, Gelt gone. Yeah, yeah. Hammer Gelt got Gelt. Oh, no, look at... Oh, no. Oh, no. He's stuck on the thorns. Jimbo. He's stuck, <laughs> He's stuck on, on the thorns. The thorns. <laughs> Oh wait, that's that's Sly Fox. Awesome, <laughs> Sly Fox. Sly Fox. No. Now you got a, you got a very nice kiting setup right there, Laps. Ooh, let's go, Sly Fox. You and me, buddy. Let's go, Sly Fox. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what I'm thinking. That's that's pretty funny. I don't know what I don't know what the strategy is here, Sly Fox, but I love it. Let's go, let's go. Let's go. Also, now we got a normal DRRT match setup. Three v three. Oh my goodness. Fair. So there's two drone ships on the Red Alliance. So, oh, Sly Fox has been broken free by Crossfire. <laughs> oh, and who is that? That is that is Fox Lily D3 getting droned. Get wrecked, Fox Lily. <laughs> oh, Fox. <laughs> oh. And here oh, comes Lily. the Thorn Bush of Power. The Thorn Bush of Power. The Thorn Bush of Overwhelming Mediocrity. <laughs> <laughs> What is its purpose? What does it do? <laughs> what does it help? What is it what is where is damage coming from in this match right now? <laughs> Thornbush, <laughs> please do something. Thornyadar, please. I mean Thorn uh, blue Ooh. blue ship. A blue ship is doing blue ship things. Thornyadar is dying, which is completely expectable. Um everyone else pretty much chill. Yeah, it's a, it's a good time. Crossfire a lot of drones on that. Dangerous. Ooh. Yeah, Crossfire is Crossfire's is, Crossfire is happy. Crossfire is fine. Indeed. Jimbo's dead. Oh my right? goodness. Yeah. A huge drone swarm. <laughs> so Ooh. many more drones just appeared out of the void. Oh, get him. Oh, man. Get him. Get him. <laughs> more anti trapper propaganda from Laps. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> right. You're right, you're right. You you know, you're democracy right. isn't in this match. Democracy isn't. <laughs> I, 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 I can't be a Bartle, I'm sorry. <laughs> I see HP disparity, I, I roll my eyes and I cry to myself. Okay, who died on Red Team? It was um, uh, Hammer of Gelt, that was it, and Red Team won. Uh, yes, Hammer right. of Gelt died. And Red Team won by destruction. Um, except for Crossfire, who survived. So they won on they won on points. Oh, okay. Pretty close. You're but, right. But yeah. Mm. <laughs> All right. Let's go red team. Yes, Sly Fox. Yes. Yes, Sly Fox. <laughs> yes. Thonyadar has one victory, Sly Fox. And it was all because of you. <laughs> all because of you and uh, Awakened Doctor Gone. Who made Awakened Doctor Gone? That is... Yeah, skill and skill. Skill, yes. Good job, skill. <laughs> Back up, laps like seeing traps get <laughs> no joy no joys joyce i hate you and everything you stand for joys <laughs> hell joys 
Okay, match 17. Match 17. Okay, Hunter Seeker, Kaza Plik. Oh, 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 UM. Uh, close and personal, oh, stabbing also, time. You might want to update the, the sheet. Oh, uh, sorry, not your ball. Uh... Ah, there it goes. Match 17, as it calculates all the rankings, it will be back to us in a moment. It'll be back to us. We'll be back in a moment after these messages. <laughs> yes. So let's see here. On the red lines, right, 000UM is our highest ranked competitor, and Motorwell on the blue lines is our second highest ranked. So we got some heavy, some high ranked ships in this match. So let's. Heavy hitters. Let's get this going. All right, blue lines firing from afar. Um, the sword fires weapons. It's got sentinel armor, so it's good against direct damage, but the splash is where it gets, like, taken out. So it's, it's surviving right now. Oh, it just got disconnected from its thrusters. Oh, can oh, it be no. useful? No, never mind. It couldn't. It's, it's ally killed it. <laughs> ally killed it. killed. Who is that? Oh, it just got mortared. Oh, man. Murder well. And stabbing time down. They're out for the trick count. Just Best she's going towards Phineas the and, and Stupid oh, 01. Is that our highest ranked competitor destroyer also? Yep. Wow. All right. Nice. <laughs> Good job. Joy is here with a his plasma cannons. Red lines has three ships. Blue lines has two ships. Indeed. Casaplex and close and personal. Against uh, uh, Antaseeker, of course, against uh, Stupid 01 and Phineas Pa. You dodge defense cannons, uninstall. Is it for Yes, yes. You caught him with defense cannons, Yenu. <laughs> Dude, defense cannons, honestly, after putting some on my submission, I've turned around my opinion of defense cannons. I'm like, wait a second. They're great. I might need these on they're, all my Terran ships. They're, oh, they're very. Drills. They're very space inefficient, but they have much higher damage for P. Mm -hmm. An auto gun, for example, does more damage than the defense guns for the space, but yeah, for the P, they does what it is. Ooh, ooh, Joyous taking out Joyous. That's not Joyous. That's it's Jammy. Jammy taking out That's Joyous. Joyous taking out Jammy taking out Joyous taking out Jammy. <laughs> J word name one taking out J word name. Two. J word name. J word name. <laughs> oh. Can Jemmy take this? There's only there's only a few more things in this match, and it looks like the red alliance has the point lead, but if he can get some lucky shots off, then it's curtains for the red nope, but it's not. It is too late. The red alliance takes the match on points. Okay. So just to sum up there. Hunter Seeker did die. Uh, did Stupid 01 and Phineas they were both still alive, right? Did, which one of them died? Stupid 01 survived and that was it. Okay, right. Right, sorry. Yes. Okay. And Red takes it on points. Okay, fantastic. The Bread Alliance. Yes, Camo 5. The Bread Alliance? Yeah, I like the sound it makes. What? <laughs> what? 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 What is happening? Call Am back. I having a stroke? Am I? What is happening? I don't understand. I can't. I what was... is he saying? <laughs> saying? What is he saying? I'm saying things that I will no longer remember right now. <sighs> well, <laughs> let's get qualification match number eighteen queued up and ready to go. I am very confused. Okay. Let's move on. I mean, I understand. Oh, bread reference. Okay, right. Yes, my own insanity. <laughs> oh, bread reference, right. Uh, bread reference. <laughs> uh, bread reference. Okay, speaking of bread reference, match 18, which actually doesn't have anything about bread reference. Match 18. <laughs> Thunderous applause. Not at all. Four time battleship. Enova. Claw monster. Generic kaiser. Democracy. Non meta baseball. Let's go. Our rank two ship, Democracy, is currently on the blue alliance so let's get this going 
Braid France. Okay, guns. Okay. Okay. All right, torpedoes from the Red Alliance missing their targets. Big splash. Democracy versus Thunder supplies again for a second test. And the most of the brawlers are in close range. While, uh, of course, these two fight it out one on one. Who got taken out? I missed it. I missed a it again. Ship. Man, I don't want to miss these fights. And there goes Mons. The Red Alliance look like it's it's taking the advantage in that skirmish right there. And oh, it looks like someone else died. That was that was um. Blue Line's ship, Duke Slayer, while Thunderous Applause tries to get some torpedoes out while spinning. It doesn't look like it's going to happen. And then um, Imperiax fights himself, Democracy getting... Oh, Democracy got taken out. Democracy's down. And A now... Generic Kaita, you're all that remains. <laughs> yup. Nova's still alive, 14 battleship. So the one that died in this situation was uh, Minotaur. Was Minotaur the red unit, the red team guy that died? Yes, and okay. Nova just died too. What? Nova, no! No, Nova. How could you do this? The power of guiding. How could you do this? How could this happen? Oh man. Okay, generic card is doing a very good job. Yeah, well, it's actually a pretty good ship. Indeed, good running. It's got it's got, a, it's got a reasonable amount of health that lets it just s soak some damage. Uh, but besides that, it just has a very healthy amount of you know, maneuverability. It has some blast pulses, which is the correct choice. Just keep some uh, you know keep some PD, keep stuff off itself. There's a little bit of short range defense guns, and just of course Terran missile meta. Um, Torpedoes. Now that red ship is that's thunderous applause, right? It is thunderous applause. It is Thunderous Applause. Okay, good. I'm just making sure I'm not losing my mind. Um, and Thunderous Applause, of course, basically a similar ship, but no missiles. So, get right. But instead, torpedoes. It tries to shoot ahead of the enemy, but uh, Jemmy is moving all over the place. Ooh, that's a that's a that's a possible shot. Didn't hit it though. That was very close. The blue that lines close. is ahead on points. Will Thunderous Applause be able to take Jemmy? To the grave in the no, it won't. The blue line takes the match. Again, democracy gets the last laugh. Whew. All right. So that was, I, I sorry, I lost track of that. <laughs> <laughs> so um, yeah, generic Kaiter. Generic did he Kiter. kill the other two, or did he win on points? What just happened? Uh, generic Kaiter won on points. Okay, Fortune Battleship and uh, Thunderous Applause are both still alive, yes? Yes. Okay, great. Wow, the fact that Generic Kaito won on points is, in, is just... The fact that even won is insanity. Yeah, that was that was a, that was yeah. a good play there. I'm surprised that... Insanity. My, my, my insanity. torpedo tech was almost there. Almost there. Almost hit a couple times. <laughs> oh, but it didn't. Great. Nearly. You nearly managed it. Okay, let's go. Oh, also, did you underline the match? Oh, uh, wait, 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 wait. Don't, don't, don't do that. Don't wait. Uh, control U. It gets rid of the... It's mm. annoying that it gets rid of that other line, dude. It's like... It's so annoying. This is going to drive me... You can see there in the replays. Um, thunderous applause. Trying to fire torpedoes at the enemy and missing every single time. And, yeah... Yeah, Jeremy says I had to fix up the AI so it could dodge torpedoes. Yeah, maybe, maybe, maybe the reason why he's doing. No, no, it, 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 I mean, my, 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 I'm, I'm a tournament host, and therefore I have to put up my ships a little earlier than everyone else. And so, you know, torpedoes, torpedoes, dodging torpedoes. Torpedoes. I forced. I guess. I, yeah. You see, my my solution to torpedoes is to just ignore the torpedoes. I didn't even think about them. <laughs> so. You'll notice that uh, oh, my ship, Tangent 14 uh, Battleship, actually did survive. Oh, why did I? Did I? Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to mark it as dead. It's all good. My deepest apologies. 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 <laughs> apologies is um, a reference to um, a black adder. Ah, all right. The classic British comedy. The classic British comedy. Um, uh, uh, what's next? Yeah, okay. 
We've got next match is match number 19. We've got everything queued up. Let's destroy the replay and let's go. Who do we have on the Red Alliance? For match number 19, we have um, uh, WIGIR, uh, ILB, H, A, O, B, T, H, H, and G, F. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Efficiency. Uh, we have Welp, I guess it's ready. I love bees, haunt, ship, awaken, Dr. Gone, big tree, heron, hammer of gelt, and go fish. Note Let's that go. we have our ranked rank third competitor on the Red Alliance. So, um, uh, yeah. Let's go back to the match schedule. Okay, yeah. H here we freaking go. Place your bets, ladies oh, and gentlemen. Will it be red team? To the bees. <laughs> the bee ship. The bees. My goodness. The bees. The bees. Not the bees. Z Z Ooh, Heron is getting murdered by all those that splash in the power of the AI messing with everyone's life. Ooh, nice turnaround there. That was almost a spinning move. Oh. Oh no. Got taken out. And the B ship is flying around. It is. Doing nice little orbits. Very, very, uh... <laughs> That ship is just insane. It's, insane. it's just absurd. Oh, uh, oh no! It got taken out again. It's insane, but it has no health. That's the problem. <laughs> it's just—it's built of paper. Why the yeah. hell didn't you give it like a little bit of? Whoever made that ship, I can't remember. Why didn't you just give it more health to the front? You absolute psychopath. You know <laughs> it's a B ship. You have, you know it has to get in the close range. Why is it not stronger? <laughs> Okay, good job. Whose ship is this? It's still alive? It's uh, Hammer of Gelt, right? Hammer of <coughs> Gelt, yep. It is Hammer of Gelt. Being a close Hammer range kiter. Maybe even Hammer getting missiles is... past the close range point defense, but being a little bit closer. Oh, Guns for Guns, was that your one? Oh, Guns, I feel bad. I feel bad for demonstrably obliterating you. Oh, it's not your one, okay. I should just go look at the sheet. Who made that one? <laughs> <laughs> Who made? I love. Oh, it's I'm Bob. Okay, never mind. Bob is an old veteran here. He doesn't get. He doesn't get me. I don't. I don't have to be nice to him. <laughs> 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 oh, poor Bob. Okay. Well. There you go. In this is this is going to be the game for the next. Uh, 20 seconds, two ships that can't kill each other. <laughs> yeah. Running around a small battlefield. <laughs> well, uh. No. Yeah, Skill's got a lot of point defense on that ship. Yeah, yeah. Skill did not want to be killed by anything else. And I respect that. Indeed, yeah. Ooh, there it goes. They take it out. Was that 20 seconds in the past? Because that looks a little suspicious. What? Let's hope I got that in the replay. That was 20 seconds. What do you mean? Oh, did it, did it take down all the way? Yeah. Oh, it did? Okay. I wasn't watching the time. I'm pretty sure it did. Uh, well, I, I, I saw. I'm pretty sure I did. Unless I'm also blind. Guys, confirm. Chat. Oh, Please time did tick chat. down. Time did tick down. You see that? Yep. Good. Thank you. As I suspected. Glorious. Okay, Red Alliance takes the match by points. And, uh, yeah, only ship who died was the bee ship. Indeed. I love bees. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, everyone. If. If in the chat. If in chat. All right, so let's queue up the next qualification match, which happens to be match number 20. Which happens to be match number 20. As if we're pulling these by, by random debris. You, you, yeah, <laughs> random matches. <laughs> random matches. Okay, close and personal. Ultra Heels, Maliador, Combat Freighter, Stupid O1, Fox Lily D3, Thonyarar, OOOOOU hyphen M. Let's go. We've also got our highest ranked competitor on the Blue Alliance. So, yeah, let's get this going. 
Don't ask me, Sly Fox. I don't know. <laughs> don't know. It wasn't be zero points. <laughs> All right, Camo moving in too close. Yeah, bummer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, Camo. Poor but at camo. least it was a nice distraction for a few ships on such the enemy an, alliance. Such a nice ship, Camo. I wish it could just behave itself. Malidor, please do something useful. When Thank you, you Malidor. Whenever you say, whenever you say, please do something useful, your ship actually listens to you. <laughs> it did with Desondor, too. Yeah, man. <laughs> Desondor, please do something useful. <laughs> <laughs> elimination, elimination. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, finally. Oh! I think... Oh Not my anymore. goodness! That Joyce got a bit close for comfort, and he just you know, sips, <laughs> so turns around, just... is like, mm, <laughs> "Get out!" Uh, Joyce, Joyce isn't away. ranging Joyce. correctly. Joyce, go away! Joyce, leave me alone! Joyce, leave me alone! Joyce, this was your, this was your, this was your oh. hubris, boy! <laughs> your hubris. <laughs> you dare fight the most. The most unpredictable tinkerel of all time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, made by the most unpredictable architect of all time. Oh, no. <laughs> Actually, I'm not. I'm not. I'm, I'm not even. Oh. That un I'm not unpredictable. I'm all joyous. Oh, oh wait, that's Jim. That's, that's that's Jim's ship. That's Jam's ship. That's Jammy. That's Jam. Jam ship. Thonyadar, defend the Jam ship. Okay, Bluefish come on, fighting. Come on, joyous. Just oh, narrowly evading those shots from Malidor. Oh, this is intense. They're, they're all just going oh, in the right oh, spot. Oh, 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 oh no! Torpedo! Torpedo! Yes. Torpedo. Yeah, He's Torpedo! The, <laughs> <laughs> the ultimate Mal Malidor killer. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh no. That was not a situation I was expecting, surprisingly. Dude, <laughs> was it wasn't for me either. Toy. Just take it out. <laughs> Don't you know, it's like, like, stop pretending, boy. I am the master here. <laughs> Gone. <laughs> oh. The blue lines Amazing. made think he was in. I mean, not, <laughs> there he goes. The blue lines takes the match on blue points. Lines just wins. Everyone died except for uh, close and personal. Hmm. Or was it... that combat fragment? Am I confused? Oh, close and personal. Yeah, it is close and personal. Thank you. I just have yeah, to look like a day. Oh, wait. <sighs> Hold on. Format text underline, which I'm doing. <laughs> I am an idiot. Okay, so all of the... The only one that died on blue team was... Stupid one? No, stupid one's alive. Fox Lily D3. Oh, it was Fox Lily. Fox Lily died. Okay, there we go. And update statistics. Well, the stats update. Take a look at the replay. Malyador was firing at the red at the blue lines rather consistently, but it always seemed to just be a little bit to the left or to the right. It's a little bit off the right angle, um, as you can see in these shots here. Um, missing Jammy, and as you can, you'll, you'll see in a moment, the ship missing. Yeah, you can see that. And if if Melidor had hit those ships, the the game would have changed. That's for sure. So yeah, let's get qualification match number twenty one queued up and ready to go. Let's go. And uh, who do we have on twenty one? With 21, we have Terra Intrabo, Jimbo, Phineasfip, Kazalpukvif, Hunter Seeker, Mortowell, Crossfire, and Medic Farm. All right. Let's see how this fight shakes out. Both alliances charging together. Ooh, Medic Farm is healing, joyous. But those red line ships are bunched together. Oh, medic farm is down. I'm down. And the other one. Mortar is uh, mor 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 mortar well. Sorry, <laughs> mortar well is uh, you know. Trenton wasn't seem to be getting in the right range here, but Joyous is doing a good job staying around the enemy and taking out the missiles while they mattered. And who was that? That was Crossfire dealing the finishing blow 
onto those missiles. Onto the onto that onto that missile ship. Ooh, ooh. It's a bummer. Looked like that ship got destroyed. It's just Hunter Seeker and Crossfire left. Oh, Crossfire's gone. And as I say that. <laughs> Get him, Hunter Seeker. It's a 1v1. A 1v1 for all the beans, all the points, all the time, all the world. All the money, all oh, the potatoes. Oh, got mortared. Yeah. Wow. Right. All right. Poor Hunter Seeker. Surprising. So that was... Which one is that? That's... uh. uh... Finis fit up. Floor pill. For now, we're just sentient right. floor pill, yeah. She's pretty good. She's gonna, pretty um, darn good. Yeah, it's been doing well. Well, let's check our replays. In our replays, we have everyone went right into the center of the arena doing an epic battle. Well, for now, Ascension Floor Pill stayed out of range of everyone, which is a good tactic because it eventually ended up cleaning up the enemy pretty darn well. You can see Hunter Seeker was trying to get into close range of the enemy and really did push on the enemy's ships. And uh, yeah, you can, you, can see, you can see a lot of stuff happening in the replay here. At the last moment here, um, for now, Ascension Floor Pill gets a huge splash hit on Joyce, and that takes it out. Rather surprising, but Joyce didn't really have a shield, so I guess that could make sense. I guess that's what, I guess that's what those long spikes are for, right? To uh, spaced armor to get rid of like mortars yeah. and stuff. Absolutely. Yeah, interesting. All right, Absolutely. but I think our next match is ready for action. So let's get going. Match 22. So we have Hindrance, Democracy, Heron, Awakened, Octagon, Generic, Kaita, Big Tree, Fortain, Battleship, and Stabbing Time. Mm. Mm. We got Democracy on the Red Alliance. That's our highest ranked competitor. So we'll see some... Well, let's see. We'll see if it gets dethroned or something in this match. All right. Let's get this thing off the ground. All right, Red Alliance. Oops, saying Blue Alliance is all kind of going in together. Ooh, but the sword is not straight on. If the sword is straight on, then yes. it could do some serious damage. Ooh, ooh against Red. Ooh, got him. <laughs> Skill got him. Nice. Ah, oh, Skilly. Democracy is soloing the other members of the Blue Alliance. Yeah. The big oh. tree is coming off to Democracy. <laughs> Farmer battle. Ooh. It's skirmishing so it's in and out of range, battleship. and all these ships are sufficiently slow that yeah. they all kind of fight at the same speed. Oh! No, oh! Was... Ouch. 14 battleship down and big tree down. And that was. Oh no, big tree's still alive. Uh, who died? Oh, not for generic. long. Now, okay. Well, right. Democracy. Just generic kites are still alive. Generic Kiter is still alive. Generic Kiter has a very high survivability. I'll say that. Yeah. yeah. It stays there for the whole match. Let's check it out. Um, this is... Generic Kiter has a 40% survival rate. Dude, Awaken Octagon Same. survives every single match. That's ridiculous. <laughs> I think it's getting hunt. away from drones. It is just he's just saying I don't want those drones. <laughs> yeah. Oh, the drones are being are are being kept inside of Hindrance's armor, which protects them from point defense. Are they being kept inside? Oh, the launchers, right. Comes democracy. Remember when drones um, didn't clip through allies? Oh wow! Yep, those were the days. <laughs> the good old days. Hmm. Good old days. Who's actually died on the red lines? Who's the one that died? Ooh, let's see. On the red lines, it looks like 
the ship that died was Heron. Heron died. Right. Okay, well, that was a victory on points for the Red Alliance. Heron. Good job. Okay. The sheet says that Fox Lily has lost every time. Fox Lily. Oh, Fox well, Lily. Well, sadly, it has. <laughs> According to the oh, sheet. Fox it has. Do we have anything to refute that? Not that I can see. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. The sheet kind of says it, and um, and not. It doesn't look like a calculation problem. So I don't know. Match twenty, you say? Match twenty. Oh, there's no. There's no highlighted winner in match twenty. Oh, and neither is there in match 21. Uh, oh, probably because I underlined. And there isn't one for blue yet, because I'm an idiot. I mean, for a red yet on this. Oh, wait, uh, 21. Wait. Oh, my life. <laughs> it's too late for me. Um, does everyone? Does anyone remember what the outcome of match number twenty-one is? I mean, twenty-one is their whole team is dead. So, I mean, oh. red obviously lot one on everything. Mm -hmm. um, and then red twenty was, I believe, blue team one on points. So that'll be that mm -hmm. case. Fox Lily, I don't know. I, I'm pretty sure Fox Lily died in that one. I am pretty sure the Fox Lily was the only one that died in that one. Because I know the two shooters were still alive at the end, or I believe so. And Thonya Dar is an obvious survivor, at least. Oh, yeah, that's right. I might yeah. have gotten Fox Lily confused with Stupid 01, maybe. That's possible. But as far as I could see, that was the, that was the situation. Yeah, I I think I think we're good now. I think, I think everything looks good. Okay, let me recalculate this sheet. Um... Oh, wait, uh... Let me, <laughs> my let me remove my pre-highlighting. <laughs> <laughs> my pre-highlighting. Remove that so it calculates cleanly. Okay, let's go. All right, match twenty-three. Match number twenty-three. Uh, where is he? Yeah, twenty-three. Yeah, match number twenty-three. Who do we have on match number twenty-three? Match number 23, we have I Love Bees, Fox Lily D3, Hammer Gelt, Claw Monster, Go Fish, Stupid 01, Manitor, and Maliador. All right, let's get match number 23 off the ground. Let us go, go. Let us go, go. Let us go. All right, as we start off the match, the I Love Bees is rocketing oh, into range of beast. Jammy's Tinkrel while spinning. Bees. He loves Ooh. bees. Ooh. Fox Lily getting oh. a kill oh. alongside its alliance partners. Very nice. Good job, Fox Lily. Maliador, don't you even dare kill Fox Lily, I swear. Maliador, Maliador. No, Maliador, Maliador, stop it. Oh Maliador. my goodness. Ooh, Maliador. Don't even think about it. Fox Lily needs to survive one round, Maliador. Oh, got him. Thank you, Maliador. Good job. Well done. I'm happy with you, Maliador. Good job. <laughs> <laughs> Took that one for you, buddy. <laughs> it, that ship does follow your orders. <laughs> 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 oh, Hammer of Gelt getting tinkled. Did that for you, Yen Yu. I did that for you. <laughs> 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 Took that. <laughs> oh, man. The B ship is currently fleeing drones away from it. That's the best kind of point defense. Indeed. <laughs> <laughs> You're not wrong. <laughs> Hammer of Gelt with a missile swarm behind it. I think the farmer missiles are so slow that they are actually slower than the ship itself. Ooh, the Tinkerer was taken out by the power of Sentinels with their burst laser. <laughs> Fox Lily, you're actually cleaning up the frickin' shop. Yes, Fox Lily, yes, <laughs> yes. Ooh, and who is that? Final ship on the Blue Alliance got taken out. Red Alliance destroys the enemy on... Excellent. Yeah, well, on destruction. Yeah, excellent. They destroy the enemy with no losses. Very nice. Very nice. An Full excellent sweep. match. Excellent. Flawless execution. 
flawless execution. As you can see during this match, a lot of things happened at once. I don't really think I can describe it in one word, but I do know that Fox Lily was right there um, bursting down all the members of the Blue Alliance, except for one. So Fox Lily got the actual killing blow on a lot of ships. And, uh, you know, that's it's pretty commendable, you know? The ship hasn't been ranked very well so far, and uh, this might really boost it. So, yeah. 24. Match number 24. Clear the replay, and we're ready to look at the next match. Match number 24, who do we have? With match 24... We have uh, Thonyodar, uh, we, uh, yeah, we have Thonyodar, Jimbo, Combat Freighter, Motorwell, Nova, Close and Personal, Welp, IG, and uh, FNIASFP. Finisp. All we have right. And, uh, Let's go. Who do we... Oh, yeah. Welp, I guess it's ready, is our rank 3 competitor. So we got some higher ranked ships in this alliance. So let's, yeah. let's get going. Let's get going. Torpedoes from Exterp firing into the void. Oof. That ship just doesn't care about any. Oh no, that is that is the power of Splash right there, taking out Mars One's ship without really breathing. <laughs> Pearl Motorwell. Imperiax comes here, um, using its ridiculous point defense and high splash damage to take out Jimbo. And enough to destroy all the torpedoes from from Thornyadar. And also most of it's based on... Oh my goodness, what the actual... <laughs> those blast run pulsers. Thornidar, run away! Run away, Thornidar, run oh. away! Those gosh danged trappers. Ooh, here it Which goes. just leaves. Good old combat freighter. So, oh, combat an freighter. interesting thing, right? The main weapon of this ship is flat cannons and the... Uh, the, the, the blast pulsar. So the flat cannons are interesting because they've got the proximity detonation flag. Mm. So they behave a little differently, I think, than other types of explosive weapons because they're designed mm. for point defense. So they've got a little, do a little bit of weird stuff sometimes. So yeah. Uh, that was close and personal that went down for blue team, right? That was close and personal. Excellent. Thank you. All right. <clears throat> Let's go. All right. Ready. Next match is ready for action. But yeah, just looking at the at the at the thing here. Um, right, dude, that that ship of Imperiax is kind of just is really really funny. <laughs> it's so funny seeing it just pulse and destroy all launchables that are next to it. But yeah, let's get the next match queued up. Match number twenty-five. This is actually our penultimate qualification match. Our schedule Indeed. is rather short today. Yeah. I can finally go to sleep. <laughs> yeah, it's getting a bit late. Getting well, a bit late. And okay, so, match 25. We have Hot Ship, Non Meta Pasteball, To Intribo, Hunter Seeker, OOOOU hyphen M, Stabbing Time Hindrance, and Ultra Heals. All right, let's get this match let's get going. Start. Punch it, Chewy. <laughs> My final Star Trek. Uh, Star Wars reference. Star Trek. Wow. Star Trek reference. The Chewbacca in Star Trek. 200 million nerds are about to come try to kill me for that one. <laughs> Ooh, the oh, sword was sword. just bladed. That's Poor not. Sword. <laughs> the word is definitely bladed and not cut. <laughs> cut lightsaber. <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> man, the Blue Alliance already has two of its ships gone. Oh, oh man. It's being trapped. It's got a lot of damage, though, so it might be able to survive that. While our highest ranked competitor attempts to destroy Duke Slayer. Go on. Only two missiles on that blue ship. <laughs> <laughs> and well, of course, at least the Hindrance power. will be. Yeah, at least Hindrance will be there for a long time. It certainly will. My Maybe goodness, can Joyce. Get through, uh, through ramming. Maybe Hendrix can get something through ramming. Oh. Joyce has got to fire his oh, weapon, Joyce. otherwise he's going to get destroyed Joyce. by the drones, and there nope. he goes. He had no power, I believe. I think he lost his power or something. I think. 
penultimate qualification match, and the Blue Alliance is has a chance of getting completely destroyed with our highest ranked competitor? Might throw off yep. the rankings a bit. All right, well, I think I'm just going to mark Hindrance as being dead. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, yeah, mm. there you go. Who died on Red Team? It was... Uh, who was it? Only... Um, Who's bottom right? Uh, who, that's hardship. Hardship. So I think the okay, only so yeah, one... it was Hunter Seeker who died. I was the only one. Yeah, Hunter Seeker. Cool. There we go. All right. Now, just looking at what happened in this match, right? The Blue Lions got a lot of its members destroyed very quickly. And in this war of speed, the Red Alliance had a much higher, I guess, momentum. And just kind of carried through this with the rest of the Blue Alliance. So, yeah, that's qualification match number 25. And now let's go on to the final qualification match. Qualification match number 26. Who have we got? Well, for 26, we have Crossfire, Thunderous Applause, Democracy, Hammer of Guilt, uh, Kazaplik, Kaz Me Medic Farm, Big Tree, and Minotaur. All right. And was that a higher rank competitor we saw on the Red Alliance there? It is. Uh, democracy, democracy is actually rank two. So, yeah, you know, that's... yeah. Also note that Democracy, Hammer of Guilt, Bri Big Tree, and... Minotaur are all surrogates, so anything that happens to them won't actually count towards their ranking. So, the scheduler does that to make sure that all ships get to play the same amount of calculated matches, while keeping everything fair. So yeah, let's get this match going with these small qualifications overlay. Let's go. Also, with surrogates, feel free to format them exactly the same as as the other ships. With other ships, the last tournament had to be different. But yeah, let's go. All right, torpedoes from Thunderous Applause um, ravaging the Blue Alliance. Um, Thunderous Applause getting yeah. close range destroyed. Ooh, did Democracy Ooh, just take yes. out um, the big tree? Big tree fell, man. The big tree fell. Oh my goodness, this is a fast one. Yep, well, that was okay. Well, all right. Well, I'll, uh,. I'll go brush my teeth then, I guess, and uh, get to bed. Uh, oh. <laughs> because that was that was faster than I expected. And there it okay. goes. Our final well, qualification match. Was... <laughs> right. Well, well democracy see. and thunderous applause. Now that's a recipe for disaster. <laughs> <laughs> this is how democracy lives with thunderous applause, boy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh yeah, man. and be sure to underline everything. Big form. Oh my life! Well, there goes all my formatting. Crying emoji. Goodbye formatting. I knew you were. Oh no, wait! I preserved it this time. Hmm. Uh, it knew it was the last Control match. Oh, no, wait, it actually some? it actually strike through at everything. <laughs> what? Oh wow! Amazing! I love this system. It's great. I think the the underline oh, and the strike through are like connected in some weird way. It's weird. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. GG, everybody. GG. Congrats. Yeah. To That's who great. is the first rank? All right, let's read them out. So, the first placed competitor. Oh, wait. I need to recalculate. Sorry. Just recalculate the rankings. They are loading. Loading. Matches played six. The rankings are loading. loading. Yeah. It's going to go into the sandbox real quick. Big tree. Okay, from the bottom. From the bottom, we have Stabbing Time, rank 34. Then Big Tree, followed by Combat Freighter, Heron, Ultra Heels, Fox Lily D3, Stupid 01, Minotaur, Jimbo, Generic Kiter, Hindrance, Medic Farm, Maliador, Thonyadar, Hunter Seeker, Crossfire, I Love Bees, Hammer of Gelt, Go Fish, 14 Battleship, Mortar Well, Close and Personal, Hardship, Kazaplik, Nova, Thunderous Applause, and then 8th place, 8th rank, Ter Intrabo, 7th rank, Phineas Fipip, 6th rank, Non-Meta Pasteball, 5th rank, Awakened Octagon, 4th rank, Bronze, <laughs> oh, 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 you hyphen M, 3rd rank, Bronze, Claw Monster, 2nd rank, Silver, Democracy, and 1st rank, Gold, Welp, 
I guess it's ready. <laughs> Congratulations, Duke Slayer. On so our uh, alliance captains are Duke Slayer, Imperiex, Mons Pubis, and Joyous. Oh, and, and since we have the more final form as well? than uh, 32 right. submissions, we can do eight alliances. Mm, so, so it's also skill, Duke Slayer, drills, and ALX. ALX, first time competitor, now actually also an alliance captain. How OP? Pretty nice, yeah. Nice job. All right, so our highest survival rate ship is rank five, and uh, our second highest couple, I don't know. Uh, you know, just check out the rankings spreadsheet. I'm going to post it in the chat one more time. Take a look. Uh, oh, debris overlay. Oh, the overlay, uh, it's gone. <laughs> I oh. I sadly uh, deleted that, oh. but, you know, I'll have to, I'll have to fix that up next tournament. Next tournament. My, my... My day is ruined. My disappointment is immeasurable. My day is ruined. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well. Cool. Thank you very much, everybody. Yeah. Thank. Indeed. Thank you very much, everybody. Thanks. Thanks to you, Labs, for freaking filling out everything. I really do appreciate <laughs> that. That's that's not that's not a not a very uh, thankful job. It you know it's a lot of a lot of uh, a lot of a lot of data entry that just. You know, might even ruin your tournament experience. Um, yes. So yeah, thank you, Debris, and thank you for hosting. It was good. Yeah, no problem. For hosting and making all the visuals and all the thingies. Yeah, I hope that. <laughs> hope very it, good this. Time. Hope it looked good. Yeah, I um, I uh, spent good. some time. Well, on that. hold on. I I oh, wait. Hold on. I just said it looks very good this time, which implies it doesn't look good the other times. That's, 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 <laughs> that's not what I meant. It looks today. It looked. It looked. Superior. As well, good. Yes, much. <laughs> Looked equi equivalently satisfactory. Well, I, tr I try to make it a little bit of a visual visual upgrade. So uh, I hope it uh, hope it went well. So yeah, yes. what is it? Twenty participants. Thank all twenty of you for for submitting. This was really really quite really quite fun. And please choose me, guys. Please choose me. Please choose me. Please choose me. Please, please choose Sonya. <laughs> I break nine. I, I, I didn't get an alliance. Uh. <laughs> Democracy, please First thank me. Ship. Democracy and thunderous applause. Democracy. Oh <laughs> man, that's great. All right, yeah. And uh, as you would normally say, debris. From now, the uh, alliance captains can start picking their first choice choices. Start picking their first choices. We'll fill out the alliances as quickly as possible, and then we'll get the alliance finals going. Yeah, in in indeed, and, I'm gonna destroy. And that's a match I can actually watch. <laughs> 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 well, watch with slightly less panic. <laughs> I'm gonna turn on the size of everything here. Turn <laughs> I'm <laughs> I am Bob. Bob says, Thanks for turning. I hated submitting. What does that mean? <laughs> Bob, what does that mean? But the spin was worth it. The spin? The hell? Spin. No. What? I oh, the speed B? I I'd like to think of it as like spleen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. Yeah, 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 the spleen. Uh I am infamous and you see see you all in the playoffs. It's fun. To see, it's been fun. To see you next tournament. Well, guns. They're still the playoffs. Guns. They're still the playoffs. Uh, do too well for first DRT. Says Jam. Says Jim. Jimbo. Jambo. <laughs> Jambo. Jamboree. Oh no. Okay. Uh, yeah. Drills is also in the final scoreboard. Yeah. yeah, yeah GG. Indeed. GG. GG. Uh, thank you for the stream. It says Sly Fox. Thank you, Sly Fox. Thank you, Drills. Drills says thanks for hosting. Bob's. Yeah. Uh, Yen Yu says, first pick and Fox Lily slash Kazaplex. Uh, Two great tastes that go great together. Uh, Jam says, I had the opposite. Loved building the ship. Hated watching them. Just miss every shot. Uh, Gun says, heck yeah. Uh, Jam quotes me going, g g g g g g g Laps 2022. <laughs> um, what were the things before the GGs? We had... Blue Alliance, bam, 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 goes in for Miss Yenyu, bam, 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 bam. Punch of Chewy, ain't no way, says Hammonster. Oh, yes, Hammonster1, hello. I don't know if I've seen you before, I don't know who you are. Um, uh, GG, 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 everyone. I love small ships. That's all, that's all, that's all. Good night. <laughs>
Goodbye. God bless. Go to sleep. Get out of here. <laughs> we'll see you next time. Until next time, everybody. Cheery Rio. <laughs> I'll do my outro because I can. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs>